Elkie was waiting to come back to the final table. Fedor holds things. Oh my god. Michael Adamo is the best. Yes, indeed. It is time. Welcome back, everybody. Happy Tuesday. How are you guys doing? It is March 2022. Every Tuesday, we come with you on a show here on the GG YouTube channel. We are back once again. I'm, of course, your host, Kevin Martin, and we got an amazing final table today. 10K Super Million buy-in. We got some legends with some big stacks. We have a lot of well-known pros at this final table. We also have a couple unknown satellite winners. Some accounts with absolutely no caches. So we have that wild card factor. Oh, I just love these final table shows. I hope you guys are doing well. I see you all here in the GG YouTube channel. Give us a quick thumbs up to start the show. I'm going to get that out of the right away. Give us a thumbs up. And today's guest, I'm very excited and kind of honored to be talking to this individual today. Very well known sick sick poker pro and also uh just an interesting interesting man who has been going through a pretty crazy month and the poker world has been watching this individual and following their every move in the eyes of everybody and yeah i just kind of feel honored to talk to this guest today so let's bring him in it is the one and only it is the legendary eugene kachaloff welcome to the super million show eugene how are you doing hi kevin good to be here thanks for good the, to thanks have for the, you eugene <laughs> such a nice introduction yeah, I mean, it, it comes from the heart. Eugene, uh, great to have you on the show. Uh, it, you know, it's, it's, I don't even know where to begin. How are you? Are you okay? For those of you who don't know, Eugene is the number one all-time Ukrainian poker player. Obviously, it has been just a, a, a horrible couple of months here for you and your country. Are you okay? You're safe? You're good? Yeah, um, I'm fine now. Thankfully, yeah, it's certainly been a crazy month. Um, I'm in Czechia now, so nice and safe. And uh, I think it's good to it's good to have a nice uh, distraction from everything that's going on and uh, come back to the game I love a little bit and you know even though in the, even though I haven't played much poker in the last couple of years I you know I, I I'm really looking forward to commenting out you know uh, on a bit of the game and um, yeah, watching some of the best players play so it's a good yeah. distraction for me. Awesome. That that's perfect. That's what we want to offer you today. I mean, I just want to say first of all, thank you for when, when everything was really heating up. You were live tweeting from Ukraine. And for me personally, that was my best like information source in the whole situation. I think a lot of other people in the poker world feel the same. So I just want to say thank you for that. And uh, yeah, we, we hope you're well. Our thoughts are with you and your country, of course. You know, it feels a little bit weird to talk into poker, but hopefully this show can serve as a bit of distraction, talk some poker strategy and, and uh, you know, interact with our amazing community here at GG Poker. So yeah, we're, we're really honored to have you on the show today. Thank you, Kevin. Appreciate that. Yeah, it's, it, it was a it was a wild ride out, and you know, for me, um, you know, I was using kind of I was using Twitter. I wanted to kind of really kind of show a, a picture through my own eyes as much as I could of what I was kind of going through at the time and uh, my actual experience, and seeing the poker community actually really come together and uh, show me as much support as I as I um, as I witnessed. Um, it was actually incredible. Like I, you know, uh, I, I honestly like it, it really helped. Um, I still kind of get goosebumps talking about it. So um, it's really great. It's one of the things that I really love about the poker community, how supportive they are, and just in general, how supportive people have been, not just of me, but you know, uh, then once I actually, you know, made it out to Europe, um, how many people from the poker community reached out and offered uh, to support, uh, you know, other refugees in any way they could, you know, whether it's, you know, with, uh, with housing or with, uh, you know, with money or, you know, w whatever it is, you know, any kind of support. I mean, I literally, I have an Excel sheet of the amount of homes that people um, offered from, you know, from different countries. And I counted it up at 16 different countries that, you wow. know, that people reached out from. Um, so it's, it's honestly, it's absolutely incredible. That's amazing to hear. That's that's really amazing. The poker community, everyone thinks of poker players as sharks trying to maximize their EV in every situation. But in situations like this, I've just constantly been uh, impressed with the poker community and the help and the warmth that comes from people's hearts. Um, you're getting a lot of love in the chat right now uh, from everybody here saying hello, Eugene. With that being said, I, I, think we, I think we should kick off this final table. Let's get some cards sure. in the air. Let's check out the players. Big first place prize this week on the Super Million Show. 400k up top 
Let's go down and meet those players here. We got a lot of players that we recognize and a couple unknowns that I have no clue what they're going to bring to the show today. Um, so yes, I'm, I'm very, very excited. Everybody's cheering for a bunch of people. I see a lot of people saying Dollar Vig, my man. Dollar Vig is at the final table today with a short stack as well. And he's got a very, very interesting story. But yes, let's kick off the first hand here and get the show underway. Good to see you, Mr. Christopher, Teddy Breon, Salton Chick, Lucy in the chat, PTK. Here we go. First of all, let's notice the new prize pool graphic in the bottom right. You got to like that. You guys are always asking for the prize pool information. First place, Eugene, 340, 394,000 USD. That is a chunk of money up top. That's amazing. You know, <laughs> when I, I feel like a dinosaur in poker now, when I was starting out, you know, they didn't have these such prize pools uh, online. Like a 10K buy-in online was like something, you know, unheard of, you know, like, uh 10 years ago or something so it's Man. it's really incredible to see how much how much you know uh uh poker has grown and even though everyone's kind of gotten better and the fields have gotten tougher but you know you can consistently see these high buy-ins to you know continuing to get gain traction and um and it's just incredible to see price pools like this i definitely i was pretty familiar with your career i'm gonna ask you a lot of questions about because i got into poker in 2014 so i love you know, old time legends who have been crushing the game since like the early 2000s. We're definitely going to talk a lot about that and pick your brain about those old times in poker. Let's kind of, you know, pick apart this final table here. First of all, overwhelming chip leader, Michael Watson is 6.2 million. Um, Michael is a savage, lots of poker accolades, and they're coming in with a massive chip lead. Sometimes on these super million final tables, we see the chip leader is close with second or third to start, but no, they look at a massive lead right out of the gate here he is michael watson millions of earnings super millions crusher as well he is one to watch and i mean obviously just the 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 overwhelming favorite to start the final table today do you yeah do you I, mean, I i i know mike i mean i've, I've played with michael uh, with michael a lot uh you know in my career he's you know he's definitely one of the toughest toughest opponents i, I i've ever uh, ever faced so uh it doesn't surprise me that you know he's still around crushing these you know super high lows crushing hard uh, Michael has position on the 2 million stacks to his right. Arter, absolutely amazing player, sitting in at 2.7 million. FJMA over there, 2.2 million. Basically no recorded caches on GG Poker, an absolute uh, wild card. And they're going to be very interesting to watch. Chat is going crazy uh, for one player specifically. Dollar Vig rocking the 900K stack. Do you know who this guy is, Eugene? I don't know. I, I um, I mean, look at him. Look at him. He's is that he's a real rocking. picture? <laughs> <laughs> Dollar Vig. So uh, I'm unfamiliar, but I have learned that this guy is an absolute crypto shark. Apparently, this man called Bitcoin at three dollars back in 2011. And if you're calling Bitcoin at three dollars, I think you've uh, done pretty well for yourself financially. A lot of fans in the chat calling for Dollar Vig and his success here today. Will be interesting to watch. 900,000. And wow, we could see something here. Pocket sevens for Dollar Vig goes for the min raise. Yeah, this is, uh, if I guess, I guess he's going to see a three bet here. And that's a tough spot, actually. Is he the shortest stack? So I see. Yeah, he's the short. Actually, no, the big blind is, uh, has less chips than him. So he might actually be able to get away from this. Yeah, Ace King is going to slam it in. I think this is a fold. I think it's a fold. Yeah, I think so as well. I mean, do you would you say this would be a fold if you if he was the actual short shortest stack? Yeah, yeah. Still, the more right? I, the more it, you just, was ICM a thing back in two thousand eight, two thousand nine. <laughs> you're thinking all these big tournaments. Uh, it, it was, but to a much smaller degree than than it is now. I mean. Yeah. You know, it's no, it's no, you know, now people go so much deeper into, into all yeah. of this stuff. I, get, I, I would think if you would put it like that into a calculator, tens is maybe the hand you're, you're putting right. in with folding nines. That's kind of feels right to me. Um, nines, okay. Yeah, yeah, I think nines is where I, I would probably be stuck at. I might, you know, if, if it's a mistake, I might make that mistake. Maybe nines, I'd probably go with sevens. I certainly would have folded as well. Yeah, absolutely. This is going to be fun. Nine handed. Also, Eugene, one thing one thing about this final table that's kind of interesting, if you look in the top left, uh, I really like what GG Poker is doing with their final tables. There's no more clock in terms of the levels. You play a certain amount of hands per level, which I oh, think is amazing. So, you, yeah, you can see 17 hands left in level 29, which I think is the way to do it for the final table. 
stops like stalling, just you know, takes that element away from the game yeah. and just plays a certain amount of hands. I really, really, really like that. That's great. Yeah, because yeah, because then there's no such thing as Beatles. Yeah, exactly. Like stalling and um, when there's like a few minutes left to the level and figuring out, you know, when is the big blind going to hit me? So definitely good to get rid mm -hmm. of that. Mm -hmm. So also in previous shows, I have offered an opportunity to gamble with my guests. Um, if you haven't seen the previous, I've also stuck massive. Somehow I lost a K to jungle, man. Lost a bunch. Of, who else did I lose to? Oh, yeah. Chance Corn, if I lost some money, too. I wanted to offer you that option again today. But with the twist, with the twist, Eugene, I think you should pick one horse. Pick one horse that you feel really good about. If your horse ships the whole thing, I'm going to make a donation to the Ukrainian people and help support uh, the crisis going on. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give you a free roll gamble, uh, for charity here. Uh, what do you think about that? I mean, that's great. Thank you. Um, I guess, uh, well, I would say, I think the easy choice here is Mike, Mike Watson, right? I mean, how can I not pick him? Right? He's got all the chips and he's one of the, probably one of the best players. Seems, so. seems, seems like the obvious choice. All right. Michael Watson is booked as Eugene's horse. If Michael Watson ships this whole thing. I will send 1k That's to great. the Ukrainian people. So free actually, roll. I, can you can you send it? We actually started um, uh, our, our, a fund with a with a big organization called the King Bedouin Foundation. That's that's basically collecting funds and um, donating them to three famous NGOs. And actually, th we've already we've already uh, gotten over fifty thousand uh, dollars. That's amazing. A lot of it actually coming from poker players, which is great. So that's amazing. If you if you, if you can if you can you know they're there uh I, it would make me root for michael even more <laughs> that's awesome let's root for michael i have i have already made a bitcoin donation the situation has like you know I, i'm 29 years old i've heard stories of like the, the situation has hit me pretty hard uh you know so i have already made a bitcoin donation but i'm cheering for michael watson as well i would love to you know add on <laughs> to that as well um oh look at this i mean we Thanks, haven't called Jeff. this individual's name yet simon matson aka c darwin here um, wow, checks back to that flush draw and just smashes. I mean, just as a hammer lock in this hand, ace eight is actually just dead. Zero percent equity here. Yeah, Simon it's, Matson, it's good to have that. Eight, yeah, it's good to have that ace jack suited uh, in your check back range to have some left flush draws. Um, you know, uh, I think that's that's something that also like you know, um, I think probably didn't used to happen all, all that much, but kind of back in my day. But but I do think it's actually a really good play um, now. Yeah, it's worked out nicely. It's just also made the top pair. Not going to get anything further from OP Pikachu here. Just check folds. OP Pikachu has made multiple Super Million final tables since I've been hosting the show. We ran Pooh, 10 big blinds, a little more unknown entity. Uh, Yoa from Brazil. Guys, help us out with the pronunciation. Both Eugene and I were kind of struggling. Uh, Yoa Vieira, an absolute Brazilian crusher. Here with the pocket fives, our first look at this individual. Uh, I, I've been on Yoa's table multiple times. He's not fun to play poker against. <laughs> very, very difficult. It seems like most of the probably players at this table would not be too fun to play poker with. Well, yeah. too, too fun, too fun if you're trying to if you're trying to like crush and win, but definitely fun if you're trying to like compete and then you know play against the best players in the world. Yeah, exactly. This this tournament is like. To me, this is the one. 10K buying. If you want to play with the best of the best, the thing about this tournament is you do get the crushers, but you get a lot of people just like taking shots, satellite winners as well. To me, this is the upper echelon of like the poker, online poker world is the 10K Super Millions. I hold this tournament in very, very high regard. Dollar Vig. What a pure spot to find here. The Ace King suited. I'm going to slam it yeah. in. Take That's it a down. Sweet spot. Yeah, very sweet spot. Yeah, so actually, Joao, Joao, I actually don't know how to pronounce his name either, but he's, he's, a, he's I've played with him a lot as well. Um, he's he's from Portugal. Not from ah. Brazil, but I, actually, I, maybe he moved to Brazil, I'm not sure. But I know he I know he's originally from Portugal, and then he moved around. Chat is correct. Chat's always got our back here. Chat's, chat's our, our automatic fact checker. It says, uh, yeah, from Portugal, flying the Brazilian flag, the Portuguese player. Pronounce, pr correct pronunciation? Joao. <laughs> that doesn't sound right, right but is it, I'm going to go with that. Joao. Joao. Maybe Joao. 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 Okay. Maybe, yeah. Maybe that's Joao. 
see the small bet here. And this is going to be effective. Man, this is going to be fun. We're going to, especially Eugene, how, what's poker been like for you the last five, six years? Um, uh, you were saying you're maybe not playing as much these days. Yeah, I have, I've barely played at all over the last, you know, four or five years. Um, I've been kind of focused on my company, uh, a clash and, uh, we're focused on esports together with Luca Pagano, which I'm sure a lot of the chat probably yep. knows as well. Um, former professional poker player. Um, and, uh, so yeah, just kind of been focused on that. Um, I'm, st- I-, I do get to play a little bit of poker here and there actually in Ukraine. I, you know, I've been, sp- you know, the last couple of years I've been sponsored by uh, a company called poker match. It's an, uh, online uh, poker operator in Ukraine. Um, so I have been playing a little bit. Uh, so it, it-, it is kind of nice because I do, I do, uh, love the game and, uh, you know, just because I stopped being a professional poker player, it doesn't mean that I, you know, that I don't want to play poker. I, you know, I think it's, uh, basically my dream was always to go, go from a professional to become a recreational poker player. <laughs> that, yeah, that is the yeah. ultimate dream. Wow. This is F Jama really getting after it. Yeah. Three betting and under the gun early position open with the fives. Oh, this is going to be spicy. So we're playing a three bet pot. Not your typical hand. You three bet in this spot, but I kind of like the, the, the pizzazz getting after it on the final table early. I always respect that. Yeah. And he's got more, and he's got enough chips to apply pressure to Simon. And, and Simon is like literally fourth in chips or fifth mm-hmm. in chips. So he definitely, you know, uh, I think actually it's a pretty good spot to, to apply pressure to Simon, Simon, you know, because of ICM pressure essentially. So this is interesting. C Darwin just calls out a position, flops top, top. Does still have to be worried about ace, ace, king, king. But I mean, this is an amazing flop for C Darwin. Very interesting hand here early. Three bet pot. Yeah, you just don't see the fives make the three bet here very often. But here we are. Yeah. yeah I guess the question here is like, do you call or do you check raise? And if you check raise, like to what size? Um, are we shutting it down with the fives? Or are we going to continue down this adventurous road with like, you know, 400K on the turn? I would think most of the time you're probably shutting it down. I mean, I guess, what are you hoping for? Maybe could get, like... A, could get jacks to fold, maybe queen 10 suited. Does yeah. shut it down. Now, what does C. Darwin do here out of position? That's an interesting river card. Yeah, like, can you can you bet and get called by worse? And then, like, what 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 bluffs do you have, right? Like, that check all the flop. Maybe, like, ace-4 suited, ace-5 suited that mm-hmm. you can occasionally occasionally have. But I'm not even sure if those hands peel, you know, the three bet. Um, maybe. Uh, or a hand like Jack Ten of Spades or something, you know, perhaps, or like a King Jack of Spades or a King Jack of Heart. Uh, well, not anymore, but like a King Jack of Clubs, some sort of like, you know, multiple backdraw hand. Uh, perhaps you can have those. But those are pretty rare. Uh, it does just give it up. Probably wise. Shut it down after the flop. Minimizes the damage there. And Simon, see Darwin off to a fantastic start, winning that three bet pot. Well played. See Darwin, uh, just one of the best online players of all time, Eugene. Just been getting it done for years and years and years. Yeah, I remember him even when I used to play uh, online. He's a he's a crusher. Like yeah, one of the one of the true crushers online. When when did what was the first year you got into poker seriously? Um. Well, I started playing poker in two thousand three. Um, and then I started to like, I guess, play quite a bit online in 04, 05, I think. Mm. Um, that, that's pure poker room era. Yeah. You know? Yeah. G- GG Poker was not around back then. What was the no, website? Those, what was the website? Those were like, those, well, I mean, I started, I, I started on party poker and then I, and then I was playing on ultimate bet and then ultimate and then poker stars. Um, I don't think I played anywhere else at the time. So I just kind of stuck, you know, those, those, those were like the top three, I think, at the end of the time. I mean, there was like something like Paradise Poker, but I don't think I ever played there. But yeah, those were like the really, really old school, the the, the old school days when, when it seemed like, can it really be like uh, uh, this good and, you know, (laughs) this easy? Like no one knew, (laughs) everyone just assumed like maybe this will just be like this forever. (laughs) It was not like that forever. No, unfortunately not. But the, you know, the great thing was, you know, because the game was so was so new, 
there was no no one really knew how to play. So I think the best players were just people who could like kind of figure it out by themselves um, because there was no you know there was no like uh, yeah there was there's there no real way to learn you know there was no um, videos yeah. there was no teachers nothing like that. F Jagma kind of blasts you in a way here into a set. That's the flop. Bluffs the turn with King Jack, no spade, just kind of firing away. We can see Arter sitting here with middle set. If they bluff this river, it could be game over right away for FJ Ma. Yeah, Arthur just playing it smart, just calling it, even though uh, you know, kind of kind of a dry flop. Does decide to check a wise river check. Yeah, because like, there's not that, by the by the river, basically everything get literally every draw yeah. gets there. <laughs> yeah, seven, eight spades. You know, I mean, so like literally everything that would have not have been a wise river to bluff. FJ, a couple aggressive lines. Arthur is some some people when talking about the best in online poker, uh, you know, Arthur uh, Arthur uh, is uh, an individual that's often named as well. Yeah, I've seen his name. He plays like in in really like super high, like really high roll, you know, like all the high rollers, right? Mm -hmm. Raisin takes it with the pocket eights. No blood yet here. Eight hands left in this level. Appreciate you guys joining here on the GG YouTube channel. If you can do us a favor, give us a thumbs up to start the show here. That would be fantastic. We can continue bringing you these awesome Tuesday shows with excellent, excellent guests. I wonder who's a dark horse pick here. Dark horse, not a big stack. I'm going to go with Dollar Vig. Dollar Vig, I, you know, I didn't know if Dollar Vig had so many fans. Everybody in the chat is cheering for Dollar Vig. <laughs> King 10 here, not probably going to open. Yeah, probably with that stack, it's tricky. I was looking through your, your, your Hendon mob here, Eugene. Number one all-time Ukraine earner. Number one all-time. Very impressive. And I was looking back at some of these old, old uh, 2007, 2014, 2011, 2009, 2010. Looked like you were absolutely crushing during this period. The one tournament I wanted to ask you about, 2007, Doyle Brunson. Classic. First place for $2.5 million. Wow. Biggest score yeah, of your career. Was... Do you remember that one? Of course. How can I forget? So it's probably the most memorable, you know, um, tournament of my of my career. Um, you know, back in those days, you have to keep in mind, like, uh, no, no. First of all, no one really did deals uh, mm -hmm. back then, and in addition, the prize jumps were absolutely insane in today's standards. Like, literally, it was two point five for first, it was one point two for second, and six hundred for third. So it literally wow. doubled. So, so in order, so third. So first was equal to four thirds. Wow. <laughs> you don't, you don't see that, you know, you don't see that kind of thing uh, today. So um, in that sense, you know, it was really kind of uh, nerve wracking in that sense, right? Cause that's a huge pay jumps on the final table. That is crazy. It was that top heavy. Insane. Yep. Interesting here. Zhao raises. FGMA defends flop top spare, but this ace is really good here. I bet you the queen eight of clubs yeah. continues. We're going to see another bet here. 250,000. Yeah, I'd be surprised if we didn't see a bet, especially with those with the stack sizes that they have. Wow. No, we're incorrect. I'm we're surprised. incorrect, Eugene. Yeah, I thought uh, Zhao was going to fire away there. I mean, maybe he'll, he wants to, you know, fire, fire the river, but, but it's interesting. I mean, he, he didn't even have like a gut chat or anything. So, We're just giving up on this river after uh I guess the maybe turn. he'll yeah. play. All right, interesting. I'm surprised too, because he had the chips. Like he he can, you know, he can yeah. easily like you know fire another three hundred in there and you know win the pot at a pretty good frequency. Decides to just give it up. Michael Watson with six million. When he picks up the ace five suited, he's gonna enter the pot pretty excited. Oh yeah, What's we that? saw him open <laughs> ace seven off suit earlier. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So was, uh, you know, ace five suited is a little bit of the new meta. Like it's the, it's the new kid, you know, the, the kids are always four betting, five betting the, apparently with the, the four bet, the five bet, like ace five suited is a prime candidate. That's what the kids are saying now, Eugene, 
Um, yeah, no, I, even even in my days, that was kind of, oh, not, not my days, but like, you know, I, I would say like maybe eight, nine years ago, that was already a thing. Uh, so I, it makes sense. I mean, you, you need to have some bluffs in your, you know, in your four bet, five bet range. So that's that's a really good, that's a really good hand for it. Absolutely. Archie here, flats out of the small blind. Nines with a diamond, the best of it. Yeah, Two so this great actually pretty players interesting here. Yeah, because small blind flat flatting range from good players is usually like pretty strong. Um, yeah. So I, I'm sure Simon knows that. I mean, for him, yeah, I actually like his check because at this point, like, he either has like a lot of middle pairs or a lot of like high suited connectors. Um, so if he has a hand like 10 jack suited, there's no reason to, you know, to bet against that hand with, with ace deuce. Um, so I kind of like, and he's, and, and he knows like Arthur's probably not, you know, just going to give up easy with, you know, middle pairs, um, you know, and backdoor draws. So uh, I like his check behind. Tell you what, Eugene, you, you said you haven't been playing much poker lately, but the, the thought process still sounds very sharp. Still yeah, sounds like you I'm, haven't I'm, lost. It's like riding a bicycle, you know? Yeah, that's what I'm kind of excited about this. I actually like, you know, want want yeah. to kind of, you know, kind of the, to spin the wheel again. Yeah. <laughs> see, see how Look it works. And... Short stack, ace king suited. Yeah, with ace queen, that's tough. Now, ace queen um, is tough here. Very, very tough. Oh. Wow. FGMA has shown a propensity to to gamble early on. This one's right on the line. It's one of these spots this like ace really jack close. off is a clear fold. Uh, gets it in. Yeah, I gets can't it blame in. it. I mean, honestly, like uh, you know, I, I could see it being right both ways. Domination here, though. FGMA looking for a lady. No help there. It's not looking good. Just three outs. Is it paint? Oh, it is paint, but not the right one. We ran poo. Big double from the short stack. Big double. Yeah, that's very spot, very, very close there with Ace Queen. The final table, I could see that being a close fold. Go with Ace King. It's just like it's side probably, fold Ace Queen. Yeah. Probably depends really on chip stacks. I don't know. Mm -hmm. What would you have done? Would you have let it go? Ah, uh, dude, I, it's funny. You know, I talk about strategy on the show. Have I ever played this tournament? I played this tournament twice and bricks so hard. You mm. know, like I, I always feel not qualified to to criticize these plays. I think I would have side folded, especially because the under the gun open shove is like pretty strong ranges. Yeah. I bet you a range there is like you know tens plus ace king sounds right to me if I had to guess. But yeah. um, you're kind of like hoping for ace jack yeah. suited, maybe or maybe yeah, exactly. ace ten suited. I, I don't even know. Like if you were. Way on, would you shove ace 10 suited with 10 bigs versus another gun open? Yeah, it would In be very, stack, very, very close. close. You might Ooh. you might still go with it. This is a bit of a cooler here. OP Pikachu, just oh, wow. over 20 yeah. blinds, has the aces versus jacks. Yeah, this is a terrible, terrible spot. No way for Zhao to get away from this, that's for sure. Yeah. Are we three bet calling? Are we shoving? I think we should um, lean towards I a shove. Think so. Uh, I'm trying to think if you want to induce, can you actually induce like sevens to shove? Maybe, yeah, there is the maybe shove. being out of out of position. Probably. Rips it into OP Pikachu. Aces holding strong here. Wow, paint again, scary. Two outs, Eugene. Safe. Just a nasty, nasty, nasty cooler there. OP Pikachu scoops a big one. <laughs> Everyone showing a jack and seven four. <laughs> I love I love that. I love what the other players in the high rollers like show the cards, use the emojis, show a little bit of personality. Yeah. I love it. Jow, short after that one. Still alive though. Nine handed. Chat, who do you guys got? Who's your pick to win this week's super million show? Tell us in the chat. Feels like oh, uh, Dollar Vig is the people's favorite. Yeah, this one's gonna be pretty big as well. We ran poo. Just gonna shove this one, especially versus the chip later. This is your prime yeah, moment yeah, yeah. to shove. And, and, and I, I don't think and, Michael. Watson I don't think you folding. can fold Ace Queen. Yeah, yeah. Because, because you know people are gonna be shoving against you pretty, you know, much wider than than than, they, than normal. Yeah. So I think you have, to, especially with this chip stack, I think you have to go with it. Big flip here, Michael Watson, the chip leader. Does the chip lead grow? Safe for the ten so far. Oh no. I need him to win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Michael Watson is your horse. <laughs> we ran poo back-to-back -back doubles. Wow, gets it in good. Wins that flip there. 
Reran Poo quickly spins it up. Wow, 2.1, just like that. And the aces are getting passed around here. Chat is saying Dollar Vig. Wow, Dollar Vig just the, you- the, the, the largest amounts of, of fans ever. Yeah, this this looks so suspicious when you're min raising off of ten bigs, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, like, what can you do? The good the good players like do make sure to include the bluffs there, the king yeah. ten off, the ace nine off. But like, yeah, it does look but super still, strong. Like mm-hmm. ten, like if you at least if you have like twelve, like it's much yeah. it's easier. Like yeah, you can you can still fold a lot. But with tens with ten bigs, it's like even the king ten off from you know from the hijack, you're probably like often shoving. We ran poo. Good luck to everyone in the chat who also bet on this final table. Nice feature that GG Poker does is final table betting. You can gamble before. Oh, this is you gotta like this from Ooh, from the spicy. big stack. This is this is a really nice hand to choose. Yeah, as using well. the blocker. Yeah, using the blocker. And a little bit of a nuance here is like the deuce. You you have the king that blocks the top of We Ran Poo's opening range and the deuce does not interact with the bottom of the, like you wouldn't want to use like king nine there right because the nine blocks the yeah. bottom of we ran through these are the intricacies of the hand selection choice Interesting. um and look at that king deuce three bit you get the sevens to fold excellent final table pressure there yeah beautiful play oh here we see the min raise kind of as a bluff off the short stack yeah Start well but, but see it's a little bit different he actually had the 12 big or 11 11 and a half bigs yeah so he had just enough to, to do it. We haven't talked about Sterk Viz here yet. First final table in the Super Millions. First cash. A little bit of experience on GG Poker. This is a, a big final table for them. Nine handed. Around and around we go. Yeah, Michael Watson losing that flip. Obviously, still fine with five million. No reason to be alarmed. But if they went to five to like seven point five, there, that would be a deadly spot to be in. I expect Michael to play an aggressive raise first in strategy. Yeah, there. you would think he's like. Oh, Ooh. oh, interesting. Okay. I mean, he, he, we also don't know who the big. I mean, I, I don't know who the big line is, but I, I assume they probably have some history. So, so there might be some meta games going on as well. So, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't mind the limp. Eugene, when you got when you started playing poker series in 2003, 2004, what was like, how did you get good basically? What was your resource way back way back when? Like were training <laughs> were training sites a thing or what was no, the, the lay of the that, land? Those those did not exist. I think just a lot of like talking, you know, uh what I did a lot was I, I watched a lot uh, how good players play. I, I I like to watch a lot of replays, like final table, like you know, television replays, and I always try to uh, get into the mind of the best players and, mm. and um, try to understand why are they doing this. And then, and then when I, you know, when I thought I kind of had it, I would kind of discuss it with my friends. And then I would try to like experiment it with my own game and try to figure out, okay, in which situations would this play, you know, work and which w- w- would it not. So that was always a good way um, for me to learn back then. Um, and then I, you know, I think that's kind of, that's kind of how I was able to stay good, you know, for so many years is because I, I tried to consistently observe what what are the good players of the day uh, doing, uh, especially the new the new up and comers. What are they doing that I That's don't know? That's smart. Back back then, people were just opening to like three x four x, right? The big blind, these big um, open sizes. I remember seeing I think, videos of the WSP. Yeah, that's like that, I think that's that's even like before my time. I mean, when I when I started, people were already kind of you know lowering it down. I don't gotcha. think I ever opened to like three x. I mean, it was always like. 2.5x and then i remember the first person who was min raising preflop was uh was a guy named alan goering i don't know if you, if you know who that is no but he was a, he was a really successful uh live player you know he was a he was a trader i think and um he was really good and he was he just kept min raising and, and that was just like people were like what is he doing why is he always min raising that was just like no one understood that yeah um so that was really interesting but yeah back then people you know people did a lot of uh, open limping you know um and you know and, and big races pre-flop and three bets especially in the first couple of years three bets were much much stronger um than they are uh you know than they are yeah, today. people people just never three bet you know as a bluff without it it was just like uh super strong yeah it's like if you have ace queen and you get three, you open and you get three bet it's just like oh okay fold yeah 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 it's yeah. Just like it's just not a hand I think we're gonna see a shove here from pikachu yeah perfect hand to rip versus the short stacks Sturk is really short 
FJ Ma over there. So we've got, got really interesting, like Dynamics, pretty yeah. intense chip separation here between the big stacks and the short stacks. Five million, four million from the big boys. See Darwin's a middling stack. And wow. Would you fold this Jack Nine on the button? Uh, what do we got? We got six bigs. Um, I think at a final table, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think at a well. final table, yes. This this is a little this nasty, is like a by limp, the way. Right? This is a good limp spot, I think, right? It is a pretty good limp trap spot. Um, and I mean, that, yeah, good call, like Eugene. It. And Ace Three is just going like to put it, it in. Ace Three is going to shove here for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Pocket Jacks, a nice trap here from Zhao. Needs to fade the Ace. Oh my goodness! Oh, the window, the oh. Ace of Spades. Man, my friend Zhao. Two outs. No. GG. That is just, uh, it makes the, is that the wheel that comes in? It is got the wheel. Everything got there. Yeah, it was a spade too. <laughs> we ran runs hot. Yes, yeah. dollar Vig, you are correct. Good game. Our first elimination, 56K from Zhao. That was very unlucky. He ran the jacks. He's never going to play jacks again. He ran jacks into aces <laughs> yeah. and then jacks into ace three and went 0 for 2 in the all-ins. Um, ladder for everybody. You can see that immediate 20K ladder almost. And onwards we go. I bet you Sterk's pretty happy about that 20K ladder when they're sitting with six big blinds. So, Eugene, That's you were talking hard. about you're talking those structures back there. You're talking about the, the Doyle Brunson tournament. 600K for third, 1.2 million for second, 2.4 for first. That is insanely top heavy. Yeah. Yeah. And that's just yeah, how yeah. the tournaments operated back then, right? It was like, yeah, that's, much just, more... that's just how it was. Yeah. And there was no deal. Like people didn't really make deals at final, at least not, not that I remember. I mean, mm -hmm. maybe it was like, you know, like if like two friends or something, but, but it was very rare. No one even kind of discussed it. Wow. Everyone was such ballers back then. I think pretty quickly, <laughs> yeah. I think pretty quickly the operators learned that, you know, that's not the best way to run the poker tournament and that a yeah, flatter yeah, structure, yeah. distribute the money a little bit is, you know. Exactly. Yeah. In that format, the recreationals just must have gotten crushed. Wow. Pairs all about Interesting. sevens, yeah. nines. Nines is going to put it in here, and our yeah. short stack, Sterk, is going to have very bad news. His two jacks are sitting in the big blind. What does Archer do here? Because OP Pikachu is pretty deep. I don't think you shove. That's just too reckless. I, can, I guess you probably go to like 600, 600, yeah. 700, 700. I think you're 650 right, Eugene. maybe. 650, something like that. You don't need to make it too big. Something like that. Even yeah, even 780 can be a little bit too big. 760. Okay, you're right. Hey, we're pretty close. Jacks for Archer. Sterk to short stack needs a nine. Or Jack's gonna win it all in. Oh, here. seven, sevens we're gonna we're gonna win it from Pikachu. Sevens are the GG nuts. Ah, <laughs> two nines are done. Yeah, Eugene. Next time you if you if you get on the GG website and you play some some poker, sevens just are so good on GG poker. They're they're the absolute. <laughs> they they win every. Sevens, all, all right. right. <laughs> we see an elimination. Seems to have different nuts. Yeah, seventy one k there for the short stack. Got one ladder, butt bus, and we're down to the final seven. All players guaranteed at ninety one thousand. Ninety one thousand. What a start it's been for Winran Poo up to three million. My goodness, Keith Alexander, good to see you. Real life FRJ Poe, Marcelo. Oh wow, he's six. Wow, that is. I don't know about that. I mean, it does get it in here, the head? <laughs> yeah, yeah so I don't know A6 no takes it. Interesting. Wow, look at this. People are getting knocked out left, right, and center. A6 shoves. Looks like, yeah, looks like we're going to have a, a very deep final table with some really good players. Yeah, the short stack's getting eliminated here very quickly. Good game, FJ Ma. Came in aggressive. A couple of their lines didn't work out, and they go home in seventh. A really good showing, of course. $91,000, and we are officially in the six-figure club. All these players guaranteed a six-figure score. What was, your, uh, what was your biggest online score, Eugene? My biggest online score? Um, let me see. I mean, I've won. I've won two W Coops, I think. I remember. It was something like... And I won like a Sunday million on full tilt uh, back in the full day. Full tilt. So, so these were, yeah. Tilt. So these were like, I mean, I guess it was maybe like somewhere between 
maybe 130, 140,000, I think was my biggest score online. Um, yeah, I believe that's it. Man, I, I, I kind of wish I could get in a time machine and go play some online poker in 2006. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I just took things for granted back then. I didn't even play all that much, to be honest. I just felt like, well, I can always come and play. Like, yeah. This is just going to be here forever, I guess. My good friend Jason Somerville said, if you could tie your shoes, you could do well in online poker back then. But, <laughs> you know. See, Darwin raises here. Probably going to shut it down on this club. This club is better for the big blind player. OP Pikachu with the best of it. Not going to get any more chips here, even if they check. I don't think C. Darwin's going to use this one as a bluff. Yeah, it's kind of hard to represent the five, right? Being yeah. short tech and opening a five. And if we bluff here, we want like the King Jack to fold. We block that. I think C. Darwin's going to shut it down. Unless he surprises and, me, he does shut it down. And, you can, and the thing is, you can also like, even if you do have the five, it's not like it's the nuts. You can still be facing like, you know, a, a flush that's, tra you know, double trapping. Yeah. So it's it's really, you know, it's just, uh, it's a tough bluff to pull, to pull off. Absolutely. Six-handed here. One short stack. See Darwin with the Kings. Chip lead has even between Arthur and Michael Watson here. This Queen-10 could have done something, I think, in this position, but... Oh, good news for the Queen 10 got out of the way. Check C bet fold incoming. Man, I love uh I love me some online poker. I was on a, like a little rough stretch in February, but I just had a couple really good sessions, Eugene, which I was crushing pretty hard. Oh, nice. good. Yeah, yeah. Are, are you playing are you playing a lot of tournaments or cash games? A lot of tournaments, yeah. So I tournament. stream full time and I make content full time and I I do online tournaments. I, did, I, I was a cash game pro small stakes live for a little bit, um, but online tournaments are, are, are my thing now. And well, you know, I started when I first started making streams, I was playing $5 tournaments, $10 tournaments. You know, I'm not playing these yet, but I'm hopefully going to work my way up there uh, eventually. How, how big are you playing now? What, what kind of tournaments? Average buying of 180 bucks. Oh, nice. All right. So I mean, yeah. those, I'm sure those are tough, especially nowadays. Those are, yeah, those are the 1Ks are, are a little challenging. Yeah, the 1Ks. My yeah. thing is like, I, 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 you know, I mean, let's let's focus in on this hand for a second as we're going to see. A this is interesting. Here. Yeah, this is very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose yeah. Mike Watson probably just peels here. I don't think he mm -hmm. goes for stacks, especially being in position. I think this is just a pure call. I completely agree, Eugene. I think we can. Wow, there's just a lot of options with so many different hands here, but I think the tens are just going to call. Yeah, I just don't. I mean, like, there's just you, you, you can utilize your positional advantage. I mean, just it's going to be a hard hand to play post slot for sure. But wow, just wow. max the tens. Okay, wow. I do kind of understand what's happening there a little bit. Like four betting doesn't seem great. Calling seemed okay, but um interesting yeah wow I, yeah that's that's interesting i mean it's all, it also it preserves his uh chip lead which you know mm -hmm. he may he may feel like he has more advantage in um preserving his chip lead and taking advantage you know just kind of stealing blinds a little bit rather than trying to play a huge pod there so yeah. that's you know that's you know a lot of respect for mike to, to that play that 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 uh, i would have called but he, he may actually you know made the right choice considering the chip stacks and look at this I love this shove from King Three suited. Just not going to yeah. work. Queens, Dollar Vig, chat screaming for the hold. And that's probably oh. pretty safe. It is safe indeed. Yep. Top set is good. Dollar Vig doubles up. One point five million. <laughs> we ran Pru loses one of their first pots of this final table. Short stack double. Still the shortest though. Again, I, I need to get more info on Dollar Vig. Early crypto adopter called Ethereum at two dollars, called Bitcoin at three dollars. My God, I wish I I remember the first time yeah. I, I heard about Bitcoin. Oh, it was so cheap. Such a fish. Why did I <laughs> why did I not pull the trigger hard? Are you are you in crypto land, Eugene? A little bit, not 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 too not too much, but a little bit, yeah. Um yeah, I definitely, definitely missed the boat. Definitely, like the first time I heard about it. Also, it was in, uh, it was a lot. Yeah, it was like two thousand. 
think the first time I heard it was, was when Bitcoin was at 30 bucks. Wow. It has, you know, just casually multiplied many more zeros on that price yeah. tag now. We have a new chip leader. God, he's so good. Arter's so good. Yes, chat rejoicing for the dollar big double. Lines up in one hand. Going to be interesting. I kind of expect the two chip leaders to to not bloat pots versus each other. Two good players probably yeah. respect for each other's games. These spots, yeah, Jack seems... suited is a, is a hand that he definitely wants to see a flop, so he's probably yeah. fine to, 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 to limp call. Oh, wow. That is an interesting card. Wow. Archer has made the straight. <laughs> the most interesting. Watson has a pair and a straight flush draw. That is a oh, wild turn card. They are so deep. I guess he just calls, though. I th- Although, I think, is there a reason to ever raise here in turn? Could just mm-hmm. turn it into a savage bluff, semi-bluff, but... Yeah, like maybe if you have a hand like uh, nine three with nine of clubs, you, you want to raise that. Hand, you know, you don't want to raise that hand. So mm-hmm. it's like the question is like, do they does him does Michael and Arthur have history where you know he's done things like that? And if there is, then then I think you can start raising hands like seven nine here. Um, so at least that's the way I would approach it. Uh, like you know, if I have a history with a player and he, he knows I could you know check check you know check behind flop and then raise turn with a draw. Yeah, like, you know, certainly you want to raise some straights, but if they don't, if there's no history, I think probably calling is best. I completely agree. Overbet, overbet on the river. Yeah, it kind of makes sense, I guess. I mean, he's he's represent, you know, all the draws, you know, the turn kind of missed. So, Michael Watson has one of these hands that could work as a bluff catcher or a bluff raise, but I don't, I don't know if we're gonna find the bluff raise here. Uh, yeah, what is it? him having a nine of clubs makes it an easier fold, right? Because he's blocking the, the card that could be bluffing, I guess, right? I always get confused, you know, whether the, sometimes when we talk about the blockers, are they blocking the value range or blocking yeah. the bluffs? I think he's, yeah, I think he's blocking the bluffs, right? I mean, because like the nine of clubs is like nine X, you know, with, with nothing is like the, you know, a hand that would probably want to bluff. Deep in the I think raising here. raising here is really interesting because, like, okay, like, would would Arthur bet a flush draw on the flop? I feel like if he had a small flush draw, he probably would bet, yeah. not not check. Um, if he had a big, maybe if, unless he has like a hand like ace four of clubs, maybe that hand can check on the flop. But I think Arthur has few flushes, and then the boat. I mean, I guess he can have boats, but I guess I, I'm just trying to think about the scenario of actually raising the river. Um, you know, I, I think it's uh, it's it's always a play that I've kind of liked. I, I think the, you know it looks really really strong when you when you raise the river there, and good players are you know obviously capable of folding. Um, yeah, I, I think all three options were on the table there. Could three could 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 fold, could call, could raise bluff. I think all three options were uh, legitimate. Um, yeah. Okay, just just flats the eights here. Big hand yeah, for like Steve Darwin too, being in position. You can never count out C. Darwin, recent champion. Took this whole da- tournament down in one of our previous shows. Even though they only got 1.8 million. The true dark horse. You can never count out Simon. Flops top, top here. Normally expecting a bet on this board from the pre-flop raiser. There it is. Eights are going to hit the muck here. One of the worst hands to continue with. <clears throat> yep. Richard West, good to see you. Adrian Petra, Ryan Beamish. Thank you for joining us every single Tuesday Ooh. here on the GG YouTube channel. A couple hands here, six handed. Jack Jack, nine nine. 20 blinds. This is interesting. Yeah, with the nine. This nines, is interesting. Do you three bet or no? Very interesting spot with the nines. It is three million. What would you do here, Eugene? Oh, man, it would really be player dependent for me. And then I'm, I'm looking at the chip stacks. Yeah, I think I would probably slightly lean towards three betting. Um, mm-hmm. I think it's a little bit too good not to, you know, to get the, you know, to get the any fold equity you might get, um, and just kind of side call if you, you know, if you do get choked. Jacks are going to put it in here as the short stack. Oh yeah, thank. I don't think there's. 
And I don't I, think the nines are going to three bet fold. No, no, no. <laughs> I can't fold. I, I mean, I, to me, that would be that just seems insane to fold. I mean, yeah. You'd be getting. I mean, there's a, it's only like one point four. He has five. I mean, you'd be getting such insane odds. What? Excuse me. Wow. Excuse me. Wow. <laughs> Dollar Vic. Well, I'm, not, I'm not going to. You know, that say is a guy cautious. Who, knows, who, who bought Bitcoin at you know two, but. Yeah, that is especially like he wasn't even the shortest stack. I mean, I'm sorry, he was the shortest stack. So like, there was no other shortest stack. So like, wow, wow, what a spot! Obviously, we can see the cards, but I mean, uh, I am just absolutely shocked Shocking. that the Jacks hit the mutt there. Yeah. <laughs> I, I cannot Maybe, believe it. Yeah. Maybe he saw Giles Jacks get gr- crushed once and then crushed the second time. Right? Like, yeah. <laughs> I was in my mind. I was already. I was more thinking about what the nines are going to do versus the all in. That's what I was thinking about. I didn't think. Yeah, I didn't even think that's an option. I didn't even think that's an option. Like that was wow. Especially as the shortest stack, I can't believe it. Yeah, I'm thinking. What would I do with like? Well, tens is easy shovels also, and then like if you have eights, eights would be like the you know the borderline for me. Like uh, that would be really tough for me at that point. I mean, we're even nines. I might go with. You know, if Pikachu just has the kings there, we're singing the praises, you know, as a sick exploiter to fold. But, like, that, that has that has to be a blunder. It just has to be oh, a big mistake. Oh, look at this. This is a nice play, too. This is nice. Darwin finding a good timing. Three bet in the A6. Guys are so good. Yeah, they're very, very, very good. Man, I really enjoy the aspect of, like, Hosting this show now is like, I've been in the lab a lot the last year and a half and seeing some of the concepts I've been learning applied by these like legendary players feels like I'm kind of learning through osmosis. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a great way to learn. I mean, even, even, you know, outside the lab, like, you know, when you, especially when you play live, there's so much, mm-hmm. there's so much exploited. There's so many exploitative things that you can do that are actually much more profitable than just pe- playing pure GTO. So it's it's good to you know to be able to um, think in a number of different ways and then yeah, you know, to be able to adapt to different situations because I think G- GTO I think is great you know versus good players you know or as like a standard if you don't have any information about the player but um, I think there's so many you know um, great things you can do if you're just kind of if you know who you're playing against especially against weaker players I think uh, you can do so many exploitative things that are much more profitable. Yeah, that must have been your your specialty in those big fields back during the poker boom. It's just like yeah, max exploiting the recreationals and winning massive yeah. amounts of big blinds from them. Yeah, essentially just, you know, I paid a lot of attention to how everyone played at my table. And then, you know, every hand would give me a lot of information. And I would just, you know, um, just try to, whenever I got into a hand with my opponent uh, the next time, I would just always try to adjust for for what i knew of them you know from from the from the experience of playing with them at the table um and you know i, I did a lot of like weird you know looking stuff but but it, it but it you know it worked really well and then obviously like when you play like high rollers with like you know good players then you you do a little bit less of that the ace five does go for the double barrel here big size i think that's going to take care of the four high flush draw. Yeah, Darwin. that that applies a lot of pressure to hands like even like a hand like ten nine or mm. eight nine or eight x like yeah. you know um, that might call he might you might see Simon still shove the river if it's like a blank you know if it, it, if none of those none of those make it so I like it as well. Some sometimes you see people be passive in that spot just because they don't want to like bet and get shoved on with a high equity draw. Mm. But uh, that that was a really nice double barrel. Um, Let's see what Arter does Yeah, I guess Simon here. just knows that, you know, the, sh- the sh- check shove doesn't come too often. Yeah. Oh, we ran poo. Tell you what, if you guys in the chat bet on we ran poo here as the short stack, you got some very good odds on him. He's had an unbelievable run here early at the final table. I don't I think, think Arter, Arter is called. folding. Yeah. Too many, back, too many yeah. nice backdoor draws. Exactly. Small price. Probably check, check here. You might actually even bet again here with the 10 jack. 
Um, just because, again, you, you you would likely bet here with bluffs as well, you know. Um, so, um, might be worth a bet. Are we bluffing with Ace Ten High? Feels like not a good hand to bluff. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. Gonna give up, I imagine. Hey, tell you what, on previous shows, Eugene, we've we've missed a lot of calls and like incorrectly guessed action, but mm. we're pretty. I think we're I think we're dialed in right now, Eugene. I think our reads are yeah. on point. <laughs> so far, so good. Except those jacks. Those jacks. Except those the, except the jacks folded. I I don't care how nobody could have predicted that. Yeah. So somebody in the chat says Dollar Vig is also playing a two dollar bounty tournament on GG Poker right now. But I gotta look this up. Myself. Is this true? I I'm gonna open the client right now and check this out. If Dollar Vig is in a two dollar MTT on the side while final six in the Super Millions, he's an all time legend. I'm gonna do my own investigative research here and see if this is true. <laughs> you know, you never know if that's just a random person in the chat uh, throwing that out there. OP Pikachu gets the walk. Also having a nice little final table so far. Top six guaranteed. Again, six-figure club. The worst you can do now is 116K. Sitting with 400 up top. Tell you what, a three-bet bluff here. Five hundred yeah, thousand, like just like the just like the King Deuce that we saw. Yeah, it's like this a, is. A, know. Let's see if we ran poos on the same uh, wavelength. <laughs> Five hundred thousand would get the job that, done. Right? Eugene, days. I should yeah. play this tournament, man. I should be <laughs> on this see? final table. Yeah. What a call! What a call! And Simon doesn't really have enough for a four bet. I actually, I guess he could make it like. Min, uh, min, min raise, but that just seems kind of likely. Have that you, was also ever... like that was also like really not really a thing, you know, back in the day, like a, a, a three bet bluff from the big blind, like that. Was yeah, just, yeah. I didn't really see that. I mean, still, like the the small stakes, like in a one k tournament at your local casino, if somebody three bets you from the big blind, you should be very, very. But you yeah, know, yeah, that was people... really strong. Yeah. I remember, I, I remember even, I, 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 like, I don't think I ever did it. Like, I always just had, a, like, a strategy of where I would just, call, you know, flat even aces, like, just everything. And, you really? Know, this way, you know. Yeah, I don't think I, I mean, if it was heads up, I mean, I don't think I ever, it was very rare that I threw that from the big line. That's, a, I mean, yeah, strategy has changed. It's a very powerful yeah, move now. Yeah, for sure. I just always, I just like to play a lot of flops. So, yeah. you know, I wanted to keep the strong hands in my range uh, pre-flop. Makes sense. OP Pikachu, ace queen here, six handed, somewhat deep six handed game here. You can see Michael Watson, Archer still the chip leaders. Pikachu flats. Yeah, I like the call, kind of keeping the pot small. No reason to yeah. play a big one. Could three bet the call, probably preferable. Yeah. Archer, man. Every time this guy's in a pot, I try to like lean forward a little bit. I, I his decisions just seem to be so good. He might yeah, be and I best. like I, I and I like his give up on the flop because he, he should know that you know Pikachu probably has a, mm. a strong flatting range on the flop. So like he often has you know uh, he often has ace x or, or pocket pairs. Um, and the fact that you know Arthur has king jack, he's blocking the you know the yeah. suited big cards that he wants Pikachu to have. So. Definitely like to give up on the flop. What a turn, though, for Arder. Big size bet. That's just going to take it down. We're not calling ace queen to this size. I've been surprised yeah, before, but probably not. I mean, with the queen of spades. I mean, maybe you can. Yeah, I mean, I think it's yeah, it's a little bit out there. Maybe for a smaller bet, you can sort of call and like you know turn some you know rivered spades into bluffs. Um, have you uh, have you got a chance? Have you ever played on you know recently? Haven't been playing too much online poker. Have you ever played on GG Poker? No, no, the software. I have not. It's the best. I'm biased. You I, you see the sign behind my head. I'm a member. <laughs> I'm a member of uh, Team Pro and GG, so I'm a little biased. Right. But, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm a member of 
you know, team pro on a, a, a poker match. So it's a different, different side. Uh-huh. So it's a little bit, a bit different side, but I don't, I don't play much in general anyway. So. Yeah. I'm, I'm surprised, you know, your, your strategy is, is still seeing, sounds so good and sharp, you know, but you, like you said, you crushed, you had your career and now you're on to other things. You, you, yeah. you were a pro, so you could be a recreational essentially is what you're saying. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's the dream. I hope to be a rec one day. It's still good to, you know, grease the wheels a little bit and see, see if I see, see, see what I remember and see what I don't and, and how much the, you know, the good players of today, um, uh, kind of do, do what I would have done or not. Check, check. Sixes are in just shutdown mode here. We're just never putting money in with six, six, no yeah. burn here on yeah. this board. You know that Pikachu is going to check back a lot of hands that are just kind of pot controlling. So no reason to start betting. Level 31 action here. Setting up for a nice finish. Dollar Vig there. Surprised us with that fold. That was the hand so far. I feel like Jacks have been involved in every big pot in, a, in a, some crazy way. Hmm. I was surprised that Dollar Vig folded those Jacks. That was just a, a big moment. Here we go. Three eliminations so far. A lot of money to play. Man, six figure score guarantee. Oh, look at these. Wow. Look at this. Look at this. Nine nine ace king suited and ace ace for Michael Watson. Wow. This is good news for me. This is really good news for me. This is very good <laughs> Michael spot. Watson might knock out, you know, probably like the, the best player at the table. So I mean, we're gonna see and, the cold four bet. This is gonna be very interesting. Is there any way to get away from ace king suited? I don't know. I don't think so, right? Like even especially suited, like it just seems I, mean, I, I don't have, know. What I have a feeling in my yeah, soul. I don't know like, that, what's what's Mike Watson's like bluff range here. Like, does he yeah. act, does he actually do this with like Ace Five suited? You know, or or you know, what does he do? What does Michael Watson do here with like Jacks or Tens? Wow. I don't know. I know maybe maybe see. he does it the same way. I guess we, he's probably gonna. I mean, he might call. Simon might just call here. Um, I have a feeling in my heart, like, see, Darwin's not going to go broke here. That's just my read on the situation. Yeah, I, we I can think see, he might call. We can see the cards. It looks like aces, the cold four bet here in this spot. Under the gun, blocking, three bet. You're blocking oh, aces. no, it puts it in. Yeah, puts it in. Yeah. It's just Michael good. Watson, C. Darwin. Do we have a sweat? couple of hearts, Broadway cards. Wow, Broadway cards, Ten. four tens. For one of the sickest beats in Super Millions history. Three outs. It has to be Is a, a 10? 10. Oh, my wow. God. <laughs> it was Close. a four spotter. Yeah. Yeah, GG, C. Darwin, ace king suited. Tough setup good for, there. Good for me we, and good for Ukraine. <laughs> yeah, very good. Very good for Ukraine. Simon, that's C. Darwin. He's one of the best in the business. Sick setup there. Thought maybe there was a way to escape, but obviously we can see the whole cards. It's easier for us. GG, and we are down to five. And, well, Michael Watson was having a little bit of a rocky final table, but that will correct them on the right path once again. Massive scoop for Michael Watson, and we are down to five. Look at Dollar Vig. I mean, he just like folds his way from ninth to fifth, you know, triples, you know, for ninth, we would have got 56. Now he's guaranteed 100, yeah. 149,000. So nice. It seems like every, every Super Millions final table we've had, exactly. Dollar Vig is commenting about moving up spots. Every final table, we, we usually have some player that just avoids the chaos and ladders to the top four. So Dollar Vig is fulfilling that role today as well. Wow, Pikachu with Jax here. Pikachu, I think we're planning to three bet. I'm going to 580,000. 580,000. Yeah, being on the button, you don't need to take it too big. And it's probably going to just take it down unless Arthur decides. I mean, it's it's not not the worst spot for Arthur to make it like 1.2 million, but 1.1. Wow, I'm so proud of my sizings calls. This is going to take it down pre. Oh, Hypnotic's asking how come it's good for Ukraine? Because Kevin promised to donate um, some, uh, some money to uh, a charity uh, related to Ukraine. So yeah, usually, my, so- usually I gamble with my guests in some form. Today we're doing it a little different. I gave Eugene a free roll. Uh, he picked one horse. He picked Michael Watson. If Michael Watson ships the whole tournament, I am donating one grand to the people of Ukraine um, for the war crisis going on. Um, 
So I'm kind of rooting for Michael Watson. You know, last week I lost money to Jungle Man, which hurt me, even though Jungle's a great guy. <laughs> the week before I lost money to Chance Corneth. It's funny, man. You know, who knows that when I signed up to be the host for the show that I would just brick all this extra money gambling. <laughs> <laughs> Eugene, I make it more fun, though. When it comes to poker results, I seem to do okay. Like I, but any other form of gambling that I ever touch, whether it be sports or you know any other, I just lose. I just run so bad at other forms of gambling. It's unbelievable. Kevin, I'll, if it makes you feel better, I'm exactly like you. Yeah. <laughs> I, whenever I've bet in my life, whenever I've bet sports, I mean, every time I've lost, and I think that was actually probably the greatest thing that that can happen to you because it made me like not want to bet anymore because yeah. I would just always lose. So I just kind of stuck to poker. Smart. Stick it, stick it our, our bread and butter. Yeah. Great three bet spot. Great hand to choose. Ace nine. Good size out of position. That's why Archer just prints, takes one down there. Here we go, you guys. Michael Watson, aces versus ace king. That was just so massive. Back to almost 100 big blinds. And we are playing five handed. Kevin, have you ever played the Super Millions? Asked William. I have played two times this tournament, um, but it was a long time ago. And I feel like I've gotten way better at poker since I played this thing. And I'm going to gear up for a couple shots in this tournament this year. My chat is always like, Kevin, play the Super Millions. I'm like, it's, it's my entire Sunday schedule on GG Poker is like six grand in buy ins through like 25 tournaments. And chat is just telling me to play one tournament for 10K as if like, you know, I can just flick in bullets to this thing. I'm working up. I'm working Ooh. up to it. Wow, what a flop for King Two Suited. It's a good spot to check, probably. Like, there's no there's actually great hand to 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 check on the flop. I think. Just gonna take it down here. Oh wow, wow! A bet and appeal. We peel seven seven. No yeah. state here. Yeah, it's a little bit loose. But I mean, for a small bet, I can't. I mean, I, I can't. I can't possibly like hate it. But yeah, I think it's a little. It's just. It's impossible to withstand any kind of you know turn or river pressure. Wow! And now Pikachu checks the maid flush. Does we ran poo bite on this? I cannot think your hand is good. Do we turn our hand into a bluff? This is a crazy hand. I don't I think hate... it makes sense to bet here uh, at all because checks because yeah, like you're not really afraid of giving free cards because hands that will get there in the river you know, whoever draw on the turn are likely to bet themselves. Yeah, I was surprised with that flop peel. Maybe, maybe I'm overreacting. Pop. It's not, I don't think, I don't think it's that bad. Um, gotcha. Pot. Chat, you're on another one today, man. I see, I see some nice comments in chat, but you know, some some of y'all need to chill out on a Tuesday afternoon here. Uh, but it is great to have everybody. If you guys can help us out as well, just I ask a couple times per show. Scroll down, takes two seconds, hit the thumbs up button here. I would appreciate that. Also, make sure you're subbed to the GG YouTube channel. Tons of content coming out on the GG YouTube channel. Is level 31 coming to a close? This is the last hand. Michael Watson still in the lead. It looked like they were just not having a good final table, but that aces versus C. Darwin corrected the boat pretty quickly. Yeah. This is a raise and a fold. That was huge for, my, for Michael. Not, not just to be able to double up, but also just knock out, you know, one of the toughest yeah. players you know, on the table. <laughs> Dollar Vig, you know, active with the chat bubble. Nobody else has really responded, but <laughs> <laughs> chat no way. Orion says, I'm enjoying the commentary, guys. Hey, I appreciate you, Orion. Thank appreciate you. that a lot. Yeah. I like I, one of my favorite parts about doing this job is just, I get to interact with, you know, so many different personalities in the poker world. And, you know, I, I, I've uh, always wanted to hang out with Eugene. Thanks, Kevin. Yes. This is fun. I'm yeah, fun. This absolutely. is an interesting end, too. This is uh, what a combo draw here for Archer. Yeah. I don't think they're going to go crazy just because this board favors yeah. under guns so severely. And because, again, he probably doesn't want to like blow the pot out of proportion, especially because he has the under stack versus Michael. So, probably just good to play this one passively. 
I think we're checking. And also, he, he can kind of he can call he can turn his hand into a bluff on a later street also as well yeah. if he chooses to, which might look stronger anyways. Archer Queen High knows we're not good. This is still a tough bluff for Queen High. It's like, yeah, I don't know. What are you trying to get to fold like sevens or something or eights? Blocks. I guess, yeah. yeah. I guess, I guess that this kind of bet can get like sevens to fold. Maybe. Yeah, he's targeting sevens, sixes, eights, nines. Yeah, yeah. Michael Watson, first individual into the seven million club, looking very, very strong. Everybody going crazy still for Dollar Vig off the nine big blinds. Chat, I mean, chat, you're singing Dollar Vig's praises. I mean, what did you guys think about that fold earlier? I still can't forget about it. Yeah, that was a wild one. Pikachu, low-key putting together a very nice Super Millions final table here. They are clear in second now. Wow, that is Ooh. a good flop for 5-7 suited. Also, some, a couple of back doors for Arthur. Yeah. Be, We're going to see small size check raise. It's a great hand to check to check raise, yeah. Especially yeah. with the especially you having Arthur covered, I think this is just like the hand just screaming for a check raise. What if, also because you don't really have showdown value. Yeah, and also on these boards, yeah, we're not surprised to see the check raise come in here. On these boards, yeah. like small paired boards, big blind just doesn't call very much. If they continue, it's just mostly in the form of a raise, all six x four x, and then right. you include like seven eight five seven five eight those kind of hands. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, interesting. Wow, peel. I guess I guess because he knows that you know he's expecting a lot of all the draws, the check raise there. Yeah. Um, being in position, and it was a small check raise, so. I, I can I can see that you know we got to um, put the hammer down here right 900k yeah there it is we have yeah, to butt this yeah. turn good play from yeah, Pikachu yeah, yeah. There, there's no other play good call from Pikachu strong player Pikachu's been in a couple of these super million final tables I've always been impressed with the young cute yellow Pokemon. I remember when I was a young kid, elementary school, on the playground, everybody, all the kids were running around with their Game Boy Colors trading Pokemon. <laughs> My God, when was that? Eugene, I turned 30 this year. 30, oh. Yeah. Young. <laughs> I turned 41 this year. I can't believe it. Hey. You look good. You look healthy. Flush in the face. <laughs> Thank you. 40, 40 used to be you're getting up there, but nah. You're yeah, I can't even believe I'm young. saying it. To me, to me, I in my heart, I'm still like 20. Or <laughs> Good. Young soul. Yeah, exactly. Raise the bar. That's exactly my thought process. Uh, Eugene's still sharp with how much poker. Yeah, I, I'm shocked that you haven't been playing poker or studying poker. Your thought process just feels dialed in. And wow, talk to us about this bluff, Eugene. What are you thinking here? Um, so here, I mean, he's clearly like, you know, hoping he's, he raised in the cutoff, right? So button flat is generally like, you know, a lot of queen X, some ace X, you know, some, a lot of flush draws. So as long as he doesn't have ace X, you know, that bet is targeting, you know, queen X and flush draws to fold. Yeah. Um, you know, and the times that he doesn't, you know, run into an ace, he still has the, you know, the gut, the gut chat. Um, so I don't, I don't mind it. I think, uh, I think it's fine. Um, I think he can also expect hands like sevens or eights on the button to peel the flop and then fold the turn. Well, not eights, but you know, seven, you know, six or sevens, fives or whatever. Uh, so a lot of hands that are, that are not an ace uh, could fold. Huge pot here, yeah. Okay, waves the white flag. Gonna go check, check. Michael Watson, good couple orbits for them. Yeah, and my, uh, for Michael to bet the river, it's, it's a tough spot. Yeah, I guess it's probably a good probably a, a good check um, yeah. because I think Michael knows that when he calls that huge bet on the turn, he knows that Arthur knows that 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 Michael likely has an ace there. That's not it's no longer really a draw, so he's unlikely to get paid off with ace ten. So it's good to just kind of take the hand to show down, even though you're kind of you know really confident that you have the best hand. Dollar vague. Probably well, if happy he with the jacks, hand. he's yeah. probably going to fold eights. <laughs> yeah, this seems like a clear fold after a raise and a three bet. Although I don't think I would fold 
uh, I think this would be close, but I think given the chip stack, I think I would, I would have to go with it just because I would feel like Michael's probably going to be picking an Arthur a lot in these, in these positions. So Good point. I the three, like, the three bet bluff could be the ace five, the ace six, the ace two. Yeah, exactly. So I just feel like, I just feel like, you know, I could, I could be way ahead here uh, enough to, to still go with this. So and especially should... now with a big blind of 80,000, like you don't have that much. And like this, is, you know, this is, kind of as good as it's going to get especially also like you have to look at who else is at the table like if there are a lot of you know there are still like weak players at the table you can you can still wait it out but if there's all the strong players you may not find a better spot you have to take every plus even spot you can now, this is annoying for Arter. yeah it's tough um i think you have to fold right with dollar vig uh having you know 600k i mean i guess you can and Calls. Michael Watson. Going to go quarter here. 240. 230,000. Yeah. Kind of surprised to see the sevens. So it goes bigger than that. 400,000. That's going to work. Wow. Your horse has almost half the chips more. Go, go, go. He's approaching 10 million. Yeah, working working the big stack very nicely. He's probably going to take the blinds here as well. Well, let's see what happens to the button. All right. Taking control. Taking control in a big way. I'm I'm cheering for Michael Watson as well, you know. We're all he's doing good work here. He say takes it down. Dollar Vig needs to find a hand soon. This is interesting. Harder has the worst seat as well with Watson to the direct left. Wow. Ooh. A lot of another heart. Are, are there any hearts live? I, I hope not. <laughs> Queen nine. Yeah, I, I, I like that check because because if he had, let's say, like nine, six of hearts, I think you would have seen a bet. But having a queen makes it much stronger. You know, the fact that he has like a showdown value with queen high. Little glitch in the replay system. That's fine. We're good. See that flop again. King four four two hearts. I bet you Michael Watson bets. I would bet my entire bankroll. He might it. actually with a jack high. He might also bet. You know, it it, it might also be like not not the yeah. worst check. Oh, I think uh, I slightly prefer this, but but I wouldn't hate it. I'm just teasing there. We saw him bet already, and then we, oh we, look we at this beautiful turn. Seconds. Yeah, this is a crazy this is turn, like, Michael Watson. Yeah. Running hot now. Finds the eight. Does he bet here again? Yeah, I like it. Archer. I think That's he's the... he's going to have enough bluff, so he can expect a lot of calls from weak hands. Oh! Oh, no! Wow. <laughs> no, this is going to be check, check. But, uh... That's fun. I mean, heart would have been very fun there, but the running pair, pair suck out. Get there, yeah. then get there again. That was also pretty enjoyable. I think Arter is going to fold this hand. Normally, this would be a button raise, but you have big stack. Dollar yeah, big versus short. two big stacks. Exactly. Yeah, I think you have to be really tight in that sp in this specific spot. With those yeah, easy stacks. open for Michael Watson. Big four X size as well. Whoa! He get you peels. Yeah, I mean, I guess he knows that Michael Watts is going to be attacking the big blind a lot. Um, Even so, a little surprised. But willing to go to war versus the big stack. You got to respect that. Small bet. Winner. Pikachu. Five million plus. Sitting here five-handed, you guys. These guys are all guaranteed 150,000. 394 up top, first place prize. You guys have any questions for Eugene? Feel free or myself, fire them in the chat. We're watching Michael Watson do some serious, Deuce serious cold. work here. This is just muck. So you, you, you said you 
are involved in a massive esports team as well. What's, yeah, uh, Cl- Clash. Um, that's what's a, game? That's a, Do they specialize in? That's the company that me and Luca Pagano founded. Um, so, I mean, there's a lot of, we cover a lot of different games. Um, we, we specialize in games like Brawl Stars, Clash Royale, which, you know, which are big mobile games. Yeah. Um, also League of Legends, which I'm sure you know, um, StarCraft II. Um, StarCraft. I, ha- I had Elky on the show yeah. the other day. I was asking him tons of StarCraft questions. Yeah, that's actually my, my, that's actually like uh, on a personal level. That's that's probably my favorite game. That's a game that I, I always watch um, on Twitch whenever they have like finals. I love that game. Um, nice shove here for We Ran Poo. Gonna take it down. Yeah. yeah, I've never played StarCraft. It's like a little stressful. The t- the decisions, like all the actions required in a real time strategy game. Uh, but I I actually watched the esports StarCraft scene for a long time. You know. Uh, I love the dynamics between the Zerg, the Terran, the Protoss. I found it very interesting game to watch. Yeah, watching watching great players play StarCraft II like in real life is it's just incredible. I mean, they're I mean they're doing things like four or five hundred you know actions per minute. Like they're just you know they're just going like this, and it's yeah. it's just incredible like how um, how quick their mind works and uh, how quick they're able to execute. It's just, I mean it's beautiful. Very fascinating game. Dollar Vig has not had many good spots. You take the ace three, it would be bad timing. Yeah. But I mean I he's he he's be. so far in last place right now. This is uh I actually don't know. Maybe this is even a shove. I'm not I'm not even sure. Like because Way on Poo is likely opening a lot of like, you know, you know, middle cards. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! What a flop for the ship leader. Just hopefully no king <laughs> for my horse. I think we're going to see the small bet. Check raising, check calling. What are we doing, Mister Watson? Kind of prefer the raise. I think. I don't think we ran poo is going to think. You know, if, if yeah, I like the raise for sure. Small Just in this in this spot, we ran poo is not going to be bluffing on later streets too active. So our option as a slow play just doesn't make as much sense. Check raise call. Yeah, and also you want. I think Michael probably does the same thing with like ten eight for example. So he wants to, you know, he wants to uh, do the same thing with strong hands as well. Yeah, half pot. That's going to end it. Yeah, hard to see it continue here. We ran poo. You got to be like annoyed. You're like, is this guy really just have it? But how yeah, it sucks when you're getting bluffed. But but you are blocking actually. With having the yeah. ten makes it an easier fold. Yeah, you're blocking ten nine ten eight. Exactly, like the natural bluffs. <laughs> Chat, you are correct. So Eugene, on my stream, I have a character that hangs out with me. His name is actually Eugene. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. He's uh, he he provides me. He's my ar- random number generator, but I've characterized him, and uh, it's funny. His name is I, I refer to him as Eugene, and uh, he's a big part of like some of the content I create. So everyone in the chat's asking about that. Uh, man, <laughs> Dollar Vig, bad timing yeah, here. Yeah, bad timing for him. A deuce to stay alive. Our clubs. That is no. death. We need deuce deuce. G G dollar vig the people's favorites he is out one hundred and forty nine thousand dollars the early crypto adopter I think he's going to be all right financially now and for the rest of his life I imagine fun watching yeah. him play he, he brought a lot of personality and he is retired GG's in the chat we're down to four Eugene four left your horse is looking strong mm-hmm. yeah now that dynamics change now yeah i think arthur and wayron can can open up and play a, a few more hands yeah top four guaranteed almost 200 grand a piece michael watson it's really pikachu good to be putting can kind of pressure on kind of against pikachu careful yeah pikachu's probably going to play a little defensive but he's the good thing for him is that he has position in michael so
You defend the eight deuce suited. I imagine you're continuing in some form here. I like the check raise. I, I don't think Michael's going to fold here. I'd be surprised if Michael folded here. The only thing about threes here is we block three, four suited, three, five suited, which isn't great, but I do think you're correct. I think we're peeling. Peeling with yeah, caution. Just, yeah. Just such an easy flop to check raise bluff with, so... Here, wow, that's wow, that's interesting. That is a strong great, play for me. Great, deuce. great bet. Yeah, 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 great bet. By way, around. yeah, a lot of people check raise the deuce. Okay, didn't work out. Let's shut down. But they continue. Yeah, the turn. exactly, exactly. So, well played. Wow. Arthur has had an up and down final table. They were chip leading for a moment. Ooh, check, check, Ooh. ace. Spicy. Peek a chew. And I think Arthur's still going to check here just because the ace is such a good card for the, for the free flop raiser. But it's not the worst hand to check raise on the turn with. I mean, that's a, you know, kind of our, or, or over bet, I guess, is another, is another play. But mm, yeah, it's a weird spot for Pikachu because once he calls here, it's like his hand is almost like face up. He might as well just kind of like turn it face up. And it's like, well, what are you going to do on the river? I don't know. Like, you know, I have an ace when I call. Are you going to bluff me on the river? Like, so for Pikachu, like, yeah, it's really tough if Arthur, if Arthur shoves here. Really, and actually, it's actually like a good, good card to bluff too. Cause like, you know, cause he probably has some flush draws that, you know, bl bluff the turn this way and some, maybe some three, six suiteds. Um, so, you know, and if you know your opponent has an ace here most of the time and he's good, like, you know it's going to be really tough for him to 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 call. So interesting that he chooses this size, though. Yeah. Um, hmm. This size is 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 Pikachu is going to think and call versus this size. Yeah, I actually well not necessarily because if you think about it, like this size is almost like crying for a call in some sense, right? Because like, there's no there's really like you got to think about it, like what what wow. are there? So I like it. I, I I like that size. This is, you know, I think I would have gone all in, but I think that's that's a, even a better size just because it's like there's really just what bluffs are there. So like if there aren't any many, you know, if there aren't many bluffs that you have on the river, you should size down, right? You size up if if you have more bluffs in your range. Wow, a seven so, hits the muck there for half pot. That caught play, me. That play. caught me off guard. What an interesting play, line. What an interesting play. Archer takes it down, bluffs with the seven, and gets a seven to fold for not a big size. Oh my goodness! Yeah, what an interesting. I that think was the river was just a bad, you know, kind of like a sca scary river for for Pikachu. So that was just such a crazy hand. The overbet on the turn, the half pot bluff with a seven yeah. gets a very, I bet you Ar Ar cool Arthur was not planning to get that strong of a hand to fold. I, I bet you. I bet oh, no, you no. I think no, other, Arthur so. knew exactly. Arthur knew exactly what Pikachu had, you know, once he got called on the turn. Uh, he knew he was, you know, most of the time he was facing an ace. Um, I guess ace and a seven is kind really of the same cool. thing there. But oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Fun. So, yeah. Very, very cool play. That was a fun one. Four-handed, three hands left in the level. Big stack, Michael Watson. We ramp who came in as the short stack. They've had an amazing run here at this final table. Watching some good players play some high-level poker. Love this. Three-bet bluff in position with the yeah. ace deuce. Guys are playing good. For sure. Love it. Pikachu, going to open King 5, right? No. Passes. I love me some Michael Watson. I believe Michael Watson's Canadian, right? Yeah. He doesn't have the Canadian flag going. Yeah, I think that's a Serbian flag or Croatian. I'm not I'm actually sure. I know it's, it's either Serbian or Croatian. I don't remember exactly. Michael Watson is number eight on Canada's all-time money list. Hendon Mob, yeah. full of results. He also plays a lot of the mixed games, which I play a lot. I mean, I, I played a lot, you know, a lot of the limit games. So I, we've, we've played a lot of those as well together. 
You play what's what's your best mixed games? Would you say best? I don't know. I I I loved all of them. Um, stud, oh my, high low, stud high low. I mean, those are probably like my favorites. Um, I have a bracelet and stud. Hey, uh, <laughs> how many bracelets? You have one bracelet or how just, one, yeah, yeah, just one? Yeah, just one. And it came in stud stud high. It's stud high, yeah. Wow. I all my friends who do play mixed games, they they. And I crap all over stud high. They're like, it's the worst, bo- most boring game of all time. Is what I. Th- but you know, I think people who say that they, they just they, they don't really understand the game. There's a lot of complexity to it. A lot. I like um, it. But, but you you have to understand you, you you have to understand where the complexity comes from. Yeah, but I just mean, like want- any game, it's like it's just yeah. like for people who don't know how to play hold them, they think it's just simple. Like, you, but uh, as you get into it, you realize how, how much complexity. I think True. that's the case with each game. Even Raz, even though like Raz is probably like the simplest of all the games, but even there, there's you know there's new nuances there as well. But stud, I think, stud is very complex. I think my path as a poker career is to, I'm trying to max out my no limit hold'em career, and then once I'm done, I'm going to retire, and I'm going <laughs> to when I'm like 45, I'm going to go to the WSO play, sip my cup of coffee, and play all the mixed games. Nice, just no stress. <laughs> Play the one K res, play the stud high low, play all those games. I, I, and just I hope chill. to meet you there, d- doing exactly the same thing, Kevin. <laughs> just no stress, you know. Just playing exactly. some hold. Just, ha- just having a good time. Yeah, know, life is good. Relaxing. Exactly. Uh, life is good for Michael Watson. Blocks gets called by the ace high. Scary see- river. Yeah, oh, scary oh, river. Oh wouldn't be surprised to see another block bet here. 150K, 25% out of position. Yeah. And it goes half pot. Winner. <laughs> yeah. Andy Robinson, good to see you. Mark as well. Lines are up. 5,100. Here is a three bet, non all in. 640,000 yeah. incoming from Michael Watson. It's a really really good hand for a three bet. Wow, six seventy, kind of close. Going to be successful. Just so fun, you know, when you're in these situations, Eugene. You were probably in lots of situations where you had the big stack, four handed, three handed. You just got to play all the pots. Go crazy. I used to love watching tables like this. You know, just in my spare time, just to learn Mm -hmm. from from what guys are doing. I would just pick up so much. I would take notes and. Um, just see fascinating plays, kind of like what you know, like the one that's mo- most memorable for me right now is the one that Arthur just did with, with six seven. I yeah. like that a lot. That, that was, was the cool. that was the but, most creative play of the day for sure. Yeah, so that's something something I would have taken you know note of and you know kind of reviewed it afterwards and you know experimented with it on my own. Yeah, that's kind of how that's what I've learned watching these final tables is. Uh, I mean, I've, it's almost tough to describe the, the really the top level players like that was such a play that, you know, people who are bluffing with six, seven, they make the pair and they just check. But when you think about yeah. the range, you know, your hand isn't good. Exactly. And they, like still bluff, even though their hand improves where I think the yeah, average turning player into just, a bluff. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Just the, yeah, these the, guys know, like with the, when they pick the sizing of their bets, they, they, um, they know what they're representing and they know that when they get called, they know, you know, how to narrow the range of their opponent. So, mm-hmm. so when he bet that big on the turn and he got called, he knew he was facing a case for sure. Like it was unlikely to be like a draw or, or anything else. Somebody in chat says Pikachu is tight. Uh, they got the 30% V pip going there. I would not describe Pikachu as tight. And yeah, I mean, it's not, it's, it's actually like, like what we've said, I think it's actually a good spot for Pikachu to be tight right now, yeah, considering yeah. the chip stacks, um, you know, using a solid second place and that's a good spot to be in. A jumps are, you know, quite big yeah. at this point. Was, was this a thing back in the day, Eugene? Like this is the new thing as well in that small blind limp, big blind needs to raise the garbage at a certain clip. Oh yeah. That was not a thing like. You know, back back in the day, but certainly like you know, towards the end of my career, I was doing yeah. that as well. You know, I've, I've you know, I learned you know, um, kind of raising like the bottom like ten percent of my range. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, and the top whatever twenty percent or or so from the big blind. Just gives it up post flop though. 
Can anybody rally challenge Mike Watson here? Or are we going to have a wire to wire performance? Pikachu, the most likely contender here. But, I mean, just Archer's so good. We ran Pooh has been impressive. Really enjoying the coverage here. If you guys are enjoying the show, I see a 1,000-plus viewers. Fantastic. Great to see everybody here. We'll be back next Tuesday as well. Another guest. Who, uh, guest? I want to get Doyle Brunson. What's he doing these <laughs> days? You see Doyle still playing on high-stakes poker and stuff? Doyle is incredible. I mean... At his age, to be able to play and to be able to play well, I mean, he's, he's so sharp. He was yeah. always, he always amazed me how sharp he is. And he hasn't lost him. his uh, competitive spirit either. It means a lot to him. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the one, one thing I always remember about Doyle, he, like, he always – he said this like uh, very interesting quote a long time ago that um, in his experience, he, he never – how do you say like I'm paraphrasing, but something like to the sense of he, he never met a – uh, a poker player that developed Alzheimer's, um, like, in, you know, um, oh. so like, you know, he, he just kind of said that, like, you know, poker, um, Keeps I the think, brain yeah, it's, you, it's insinuating, yeah, that, 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 that if you play poker, you know, um, keeps the machine churning. Yeah. Ricardo, yeah, we have a we have a big list of guests that I would love to have on the show. Oh, Michael Watson, three bet bluff candidate here. Yeah. Oh, just flats. Okay, that's cool too. Yeah, in position, I don't mind it. I think because he knows that Ar- you know Arthur is going to expect him to three bet a lot, so yeah, he might he might just you know take his positional advantage and you know with a hand like this. Gab in the chat says, "Is there a big delay?" Yes, we give these players forty, fifty plus minutes on the delay. So we can also skip the breaks with dynamic delay. This is interesting with the ace of diamonds. Would he try? Does he just take it to showdown, or does he try to like turn it into a bluff? Seems like he probably just check, right? Yeah, sure. see, I mean, we pick up equity, but ace nine it's wins. Just like, what are you bluff? really protecting bluff? against? Specifically, a hand like this, but works. Hmm. I mean, it works here. Interesting. Hmm. Works. Pikachu pretty pumped. When when Michael Watson exits the pot, Pikachu's now licking their chops to get involved as yeah. the effective chip leader. Ooh, well, players pair up here. Are we going to see a small bet from Pikachu? Yeah. Check call here, Queen Jack. Let's see a turn card. A Jack would be an interesting turn card. Well, Eugene, I'm going to keep playing poker, all right? I, and then hopefully I can avoid the, the Alzheimer's. That would be nice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Somebody in the chat says that actually Bridge has been scientifically proven to reduce Alzheimer's. Oh, very interesting. Yeah, it wouldn't, sur- <laughs> wouldn't surprise me, you know, if any, any game, any game that makes you think, uh, would, would, <laughs> you know, would have that effect. Yeah. I was playing live here in Canada the other day, and this individual beside me was a bit of a rowdy customer. Nice guy, but he's like, Kevin, trust me, you got to play bridge, man. He's like, you got to play bridge. And I was like, okay, like, tell me more about it. He's like, I was in jail, and I had time to kill, and I learned how to play bridge, and it was amazing. (laughs) And it was like, he sold me, man. (laughs) He sold me, absolutely. He said it's a very stimulating card game. Is the origin story? Ooh, bad ooh, flop for six eight. Very, very interesting. Hi, Keith. Thank you. I don't think Archer's going to get super carried away here. Yeah, but certainly he's not. He certainly is. You know, he's got a lot of backdoor draws here. Check calling. And a made hand. Yeah. Oh, oh no. That is a harsh now, swing in equity. He might even lead this card. I mean, could consider leading. Because, he, because, you know, you want to lead this card with a lot of your draws. Yeah, I like it. Great call from you, um, Eugene. It's a good card for the check for the defender. Michael's just calling. Yeah, there's no other play. So now it really depends on the, you know, 
<laughs> oh no, <laughs> that's gonna. That's. A, I was just saying. Oh no, because if it was like a four of clubs or a deuce or a seven, it's easier card for Michael to like go. But this one's gonna be tough. So now it's interesting, like what he does here. You know, you might actually. This is actually like you can get really creative here and go for a check raise as Arthur, because essentially, if Michael has a hand like a pocket pair, he might bet himself. Um, although you're probably not betting. Yeah, you probably you probably just have to bet yourself. All in. Yeah. Wow, Aces That's, snaps pretty yeah. quickly. What a crazy turn card. Arter finds the lead, gets it all on the river, and we have a new chip leader. God, Arter's so good. And when he hits the cards, he just capitalizes. He gets the maximum. Michael Watson didn't really think about it. I mean, we have Aces. Yeah. Arter, Arter's capable of bluffing 7-8, those kind of hands. But even there, to be honest, like if, if I'm in Arthur's spot and I have seven eight, am I really bluffing that that river? Like when yeah. the guy calls me, like when he calls me in the turn, you know, you know, he has a hand that you know either a big pair or some hand that doesn't believe you, and the river is complete blank. It's tough, tough to fire that river as a bluff. I don't know if he does it. So it's like so now when I'm in Michael's spot, I know like it's unlikely that he's actually bluffing. That was but, a I big. Mean, Oh shit moment. Big swing. Big, big, big swing. My goodness. Now let's see how Arter handles the chip lead here. Great call from you, Eugene, on the turn lead. I mean, you had it nailed. Yeah, it's just it's something that yeah, I also see a lot of good players do for, for a while now. It's just kind of you know, lead the cards that are good for them. Pressure coming from the big stack now. Oh, we ran Poo and Lim calls out of position with 8-7 offsuit. Well, the fact that there's no other, you know, real short stacks, I don't, I don't, I don't hate it. I don't think it's, I think it's actually probably pretty okay. I, I think he's also expecting Arthur to raise a lot of hands from the big line. This is also a good, good candidate to check raise, I guess, right? Yeah, it would Having be nice. Because you, you can follow through with hearts. You can follow through with a lot of, you know, with a 10. I think I don't think check calling makes much sense. Yeah, I was gonna I say nine hundred K. Very nice find. Yeah. yeah, calling would have been not, not so good. And look at that—the chips have kind of gotten a little closer together now. Arthur yeah, with the lead, yeah. but Michael OPP Chuka Pikachu. Very interesting dynamic here, four-handed. No super short stacks anymore. Unbelievable little showing here. Thing how Michael will play this one. Three better call. I think folding's out of the question. He's been taking a more passive line here, uh, for the most part. I like the three bet. I like it. Yeah, I like it as well. Works. All players are guaranteed 190,000. You can see the ladders. Next ladder is an immediate 52K, followed by 60K. And then the last one, the biggest one. Our recent couple of shows, it was about 300K for first, but this previous Sunday was a big day for online poker. Do you see those crazy tournaments being run? GG Poker ran a, a really special tournament. Oh, I heard about that one where yeah, Daniel the, was... Yeah, the overlay. Really, yeah. Elky told me about that one. I was hanging out with Elky in the only weekend. He told me that the, the, the $150 one with, with no rebuys or re-entries and huge overlay. Yeah. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. That was crazy. I stone bubbled it. What a tournament it was, though. You did? Oh, Yeah, wow. Stone Bubble, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've, had, I've Stone Bubbled There's a lot no... of tournaments lately. It's, it's been, you know, it's the worst. Bubbling's, the bubbling is, is just so painful. painful. Yeah, it's okay. Cried a little bit, but I moved on. All of these stacks pretty close now here. We ran poo. It folds. I thought maybe he would get really creative and like limp three, but the deuce three suited, which wouldn't be so bad to be honest. I, I don't think I would have liked you know limp call with deuce three suited, but yeah, yeah. it's a pretty interesting hand to to limp three bet with because even if you do get called, like um, the hand plays pretty well uh, as the aggressor. Couple hands so left in this also, level. The only bad thing about it was you know didn't really have any blockers, but. You were really into chess as well, or am I mixing up people? No, I, I mean, I, I play chess, but no, I, I, I think you're mixing up people. I wasn't, like, really into it. You weren't at a high level chess player? No, I'm no, not no, no, no. I don't know who Never. else I'm thinking of. 
probably someone else. I thought that was you. You, Ooh, you, give off chess, you give off chess master vibes, you know, which is a good thing. <laughs> Kevin, what happened to the overlay edition? Yeah, it was a five million guaranteed GG poker, one fifty buy-in, no re-entry. Uh, I think GG planned for it to overlay massively. I thought it was going to overlay massively, but um, it didn't. It overlaid small. It barely overlaid. Five million guaranteed. I think it got four point six five million in the prize pool. Oh, it's close, huh? Wow. Yeah, it almost covered, which is like unbelievable. Daniel was going to shave, shave his head, right? Yeah. Wow. OP oh, this Pikachu. is cool. Pikachu, Pikachu ch check back the turn. Let's check back the stone turn. nutter butters. With the seven bit of of diamonds, just in case. Bit of a bad run here for your horse, Michael Watson. Yeah. I wonder, can he find a hero collier on the river? Probably not. I think he expects Pikachu to bluff the turn if he had a bluff. So, yeah, I think he's, I think this is over bet he should be, should be able to get away from this although i don't know checking back the turn yeah it's probably like confusing i think that the fact that it's a three saves him i mean because because you know he could be up against a hand like you know three four three five this is wild it looks like michael watson was maybe going to run away with this but arthur Everybody, yes, uh, raise the bar. That's not a unique take. Everyone's just like, Kevin, sell your action in the 10K. And that's always an option for sure. I mean, <laughs> how do I say this without sounding like a, a loser? It's not a bankroll issue. It's just a skill issue. And I'm working, developing, you know. <laughs> the bankroll is not, thankfully, not the issue for me not playing the 10K. It's just I'm still developing my skill. I'm trying to level up before I really take consistent runs at this tournament. Like this check raise again. We ran yeah, poo. Yeah. Right, are we going to float? No, we ran poo. Check raising. Look at him standing up to the chip leader. Yes. Yeah. The the and look how close we are now. Shortest stack four million. Yeah. Chip leader four five point nine. Four very even stacks. Stack. Anyone's game right now. We ran poo. We have, I've yet to see the short stack go on to win. And short stack came really? in. Yeah, short stack came in. I mean, we ran poo was stone ninth to start the final table. Today. Oh, was he? He was, yeah. was he the literal short stack? The okay. stone short stack. Let me double check. Let me double check. Yes, we ran. Oh, poo. look at, look at, look at Arthur. He's applying pressure at every good looking spot. Yeah. Interesting hand choice, but I mean, this is a very nice play. Well, the good thing about this hand is that when you get called, it's unlikely that your opponents are blocking your cards. Oh, Pikachu! Yeah, look at Pikachu realizing Man. what's happening, understanding what's happening. Four bit shoves for the him. deuces. Very effective. Really high level play here. It's great. Pikachu uses the Thunderbolt in a key moment. Stuns his opponent. I'm trying to think of more Pokemon references, but my brain is running dry. <laughs> you ever play? Do you ever play Pokemon, Eugene? No. Great game. One of the most popular video games I've of heard. all time. Yeah. Wow. Pikachu. Oh, wow. This is the poker gods respecting the balls of Pikachu to to four bet shove the deuces there. Takes such gonads. The poker gods respect it, and now they have given them the stone nut full house. Let's see, like, a, like I don't know, like a, either a, t a five or a spade on the turn <laughs> for this to get interesting. Right? A five would just be so cruel. Five would be cruel. Spade would just be interesting. Wow, look at this. Pikachu checks. We ran poo has bitten, drawing stone dead to running quads. A five. I oh. oh my god! I can't believe it. You <laughs> well, cannot. Pikachu. You cannot write Look this, ladies that. and gentlemen. Wow! So cruel to make a full house and be drawing dead. Oh man! I guess it's just gonna go bet call. Pikachu's gonna check call again. No reason to raise. 
Wow, you're you have zero percent. You make a full house. I guess you. I guess Pikachu. Now he's got one, one out. out. One out. <laughs> five of diamonds. That would be historic. What a turn card. Here is a five. Yeah, Pikachu's just gonna check call here out of position. A Jack could actually save the pocket fives here as well. That's true. That's true. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That's a good call. A Jack or a Queen. A, ja a Jack or a Queen. Exactly. Exactly. So yeah, there's three outs. That is not going to save him. <laughs> no. You're not really worried about Ace Queen either. It's all going in. We ran poo. Gonna yep. think about it Bad and luck. find Bad the shove here. Him. And happily oh. shoved. <laughs> yeah, pumped. Really excited to shove. Fist pumped that he's getting all this action. So cruel. Started the final table in last to get cooler like this. You just hate to see it. Because he was just excited. Please bet. Please, please. <laughs> if, if, if we ran poo does not go broke here, I need to retire from the game. Yeah. I need to hang it up. I and I know <laughs> as would I. Wow. Full house versus full house. That is nasty. Cooler of the final table. Unlucky. Ten million for Pikachu. The worst time to make a boat. We ran poo. Get your GG's in the chat for we ran poo. Came in as the short stack. Nice run. 190,000. What a great showing from them. I thought they played very well, finding a bunch of check raise bluffs and then a very cruel, unavoidable ending. We were saying, you know, we were talking about the five on the turn, but you never expect it to peel off like that. That yeah. was unbelievable. GG's, yes. All right. Pikachu's turn to be the chip leader. All three of these players have taken their turn being the chip leader now. Let's see what Pikachu brings in terms of aggression. The thing about this is... There is that ladder from third to second, but Michael Watson and Archer are also going to somewhat play for the win as well. They're not going to completely roll over. Yeah, and I think it, at least that's yeah. Certainly at this point, I would just kind of play my hand for you know for natural value. I wouldn't focus too much on an ICM, yeah. but I could be wrong. I, I'm certainly not as not eligible as as these guys are probably at that ICM. Mm -hmm. I've always kind of had, took taken the approach of just like play to win. Yeah, um, that was always. Kind of in my nature, even when it was kind of probably incorrect to do so. There's just so much glory, you know, for the, 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 yeah. the first is just so yeah. so infinite. And you feel you finish with all yeah. the chips. Yeah. And not only that, then also just the feeling of it, like just you know, just how yeah. good it feels to win. Oh sets are being passed around here. This time yeah. Arter. I'm, flops I'm bottom hoping, set. I'm hoping for a check call on the jack on the turn. All right, uh, eight will do as well. Interesting that he didn't see that. Hmm. I guess from Queen High. Yeah, I guess he expects like King High and Ace High to call. So Queen High, you know, having some backdoor value actually makes sense to check back. Um, I guess he probably doesn't expect many hands to just randomly bluff the turn when you check back. So I kind of like it. I think if he had like, hand, like nine, if he had a hand like nine eight nine seven, he would definitely bend the flop. Um, but having a Queen High. That's probably good enough to check that to check behind. Wow, flop bottom set, check, check, bet fold. You said, like, what is this? Just such a lack of action. Could see Pikachu raise this at some clip pre-flop. Three-handed action, you guys. What a final table this has been so far. Here on the GG YouTube channel. Mr. Watson. He's in now third, in third place, place now. Yeah, third yeah. place. Oh, he's going to lose some chips here. Man. Probably going to get worse and worse. I wonder, like, this is actually like a good spot for Arthur to check raise as well, because he has like a jack of diamonds, because he would raise, let's say, if he had like jack seven of diamonds, mm -hmm. right? So so I think it's also good to check raise these hands as well, especially being three-handed and knowing that Michael's going to get, you know, stubborn with a lot of hands. Like, I think this is a good, yeah, I like it. Like yeah, you're right. I usually just call in these spots, but you just you gotta check think, the top pair. I think if he had, I think like maybe if he had like king ten with no diamond, you could check call. Like I, that's the way I would think of yeah. it. Yeah, like, you know, to make sure I have some kings in my check calling range. But when you have the jack of diamonds, you can kind of think of it like, well, yeah, then, you know, I I could have, I'm blocking some flush draws from my opponent, which means I can have more flush draws, which means my opponent can think 
you know, I have more flush, more flush trust here. So he can get more stubborn. So I like it. I, I think don't Michael's going to call, call yeah, for sure here. Michael's calling versus the small size. And, oh, that might, this, that might this, this save. Can, this can save Michael. Yeah. yeah. That's a. Because the, the three six suited gets there. The flush also slides in. Yeah. At this point, like, what are you really beating? Yeah, I think Michael can can find find the fold here. I mean, I guess I guess Arthur's gonna really really size down here. Like, there's no reason to bet big Checks. or even check. Yeah, it's just hard to get called by anything. So, uh, I kind of like it. You know, either that value. or like quarter quarter pot or fifth pot. Here we go. Here's our elimination so far. Six are gone. Three are left. Quarter million guaranteed. Quarter mil ball guaranteed in the GG Poker account. That's nice. Oh. Michael's in solid third place now. Maybe this ace jack. Uh, no, 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 no real action. Michael is in solid third place. Yeah, I like Ooh. it. Yeah, limp, limp raise. Does Pikachu bite? Yeah, tempted. this could be. I mean, this is the bottom ten percent, right? Although yeah, he did. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe if he had like six deuce, he would have done it. Avoids it there. Three handed. I got to say, at this final table, everybody's been pretty quick. This, you know, Eugene had a, a previous couple of shows. So how it works is there's no clock, and every player gets a chess clock. You know, mm. Everyone has their numbers. So you can actually tank for four or five minutes if you need it in a big spot. Mm. I really like that that's an option. But what happens if you run out of time, you get five emergency seconds for every decision. And on previous Ooh. final tables, it's been a big thing. Like these guys, especially when they get three-handed heads up, they run out of time, and then – it's really affected the play, and it's been a big storyline on previous final tables. But today, mm -hmm. everyone, no one's really in danger of running out of time here. We're not going to see the, maybe uh, it's, the double zero. Maybe it's also yeah. Maybe it's because also like there haven't been any like super tough spots yet. Yeah, where you yeah. Actually, need that much time. The decisions have thus far been you know relatively mm -hmm. uh, straightforward. Floats with yeah, the like nine the seven. Slowly yeah, wrapping floating. around the wrapping around the eight and just yeah. you know uh, being able to bluff a lot of turns. At this point, you probably don't need to bluff. I think. I think Michael probably... Watson That's needs a resurgence. He's had a tough little go here these last couple of orbits. Chat, who do you got three handed here? Arthur, Michael, or OP Pikachu? Tell you what, the Pokemon feels strong right now. I, I don't think I would bet against Pikachu <laughs> here. God, Arter's so good, though, too. Yeah, all these guys are good. I think we're going to see a limp from Pikachu. Incorrect. Raise take. Well, yeah, actually, for Pikachu, it's good to pick on Arthur. Yeah. Arthur is disincentivized to play big pots right now with, uh, yeah. you know, Michael becoming, low, you know, sh shallower and shallower. I don't, yeah, Arter still has 50 bigs. Yeah, he can he can you know he can avoid the close spots. He doesn't need yeah. to defend like super wide. Could shove this free. Could call options available. Yes, chat. Chat now. It's funny how I ask who's gonna win and, and uh oh, the chat and chat changes their answer quite quickly here. They're now kind of on OPP Pikachu side. Interesting turn card. Interesting Very that interesting. I'm surprised Pikachu checked behind the flop. Me too. I guess he didn't want to get he didn't want to get check raised, which which I guess, I suppose is fine. Yeah, I guess it's probably fine. But now facing a pot size bet. Yeah. Wow. I think I would fold. Although, yeah, I think. You, what would you do? I think I would fold, but I don't heels. Know. Ooh. Heels. Yeah. Interesting hand here. Pot call. Ace on the river. And Michael kind of, I think, well, what does he expect? If I was Michael, I would great think my check. opponent likely has like 7x or something. Yeah, it's a great check. I think Pikachu's check. definitely going to bluff now. He has to. Yeah, how can he not? When he, when he plays it this way, he has to represent clubs or an ace. He doesn't have to bet big. Yeah, half um, pot, 800. Half pot, yeah, that's enough. There's no reason to go big. It's hard to see it working. Oh, does go oh, big. He went big. big so he big. really polarized it. So now, now Michael is bluff catching. 
it's actually hard to find bluffs if you're Michael, to be honest. Like, like what bluffs do you expect? Because I would have thought like Ten Jack would have bet the flop. So, and I would have thought Spades bet the flop. Yeah, I, I guess his hand is just too good. Um, Snaps it pretty quickly. Hard to Michael find Watson. Bluffs. Good, good call though, Mike. That was fun. A fun line from Ace Three. Michael Watson back to six million now. Three Warriors here battling for the title. Yeah, almost even. Almost, everyone's almost even in chips now. Very even, Stevens. Yeah, if that was an interesting, interesting hand. Goes for the pop bluff. Doesn't work. Kind of like the line from both those players. Both pick up a gut shot. Seth in the chat asks, Kevin, when will GG Poker be available in the States? Man, that would be... Oh, can you imagine if the Americans could play on GG Poker? Yeah. Oh, makes me cry at the thought. It would just be so big, dude. Our uh, One of our provinces here in Canada is getting cut off the global player pool as well, unfortunately. Really? Yeah, Why Ontario. I don't know. I think it's the provincial government. I don't oh, know. It's no. sad. Sad. I wish online poker was open and available for all on a global player pool. Check call from Michael in the turn. That's surprising. Wow. Check call. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, wins. Jack oh, my God. He wins. gave up. He's going to win Jack High. Jack High now wins. They're, they're actually now all even in chips. Yeah, look at this. Six million for everybody. Wow, that was surprising. I'm surprised yeah, Pikachu Jack didn't even bet anything. He should have bet something. I mean, like, the flush got there on the river. Like, that was a good card for him to bet. I mean, it's easy for me to say watching there, but still. You can't get a more the even three-handled battle than this. Yep. HP Stretch in the chat says, I'm in Ontario. I'm in Toronto. I won't be able to play online soon. Yes, Ontario is, I believe, April the 4th. You will no longer be allowed to play on the global GG site. I know GG Poker does have plans to operate like an Ontario-only site and still offer online poker, but you will not be able to play with the global player pool, which is sad. Big flop here for 6-7. Wow, open-ended straight flush draw. Yeah. How many royal flushes did you make in your career, Eugene? <laughs> Not many. A few. Live? I have made a few. You make yeah, a few made, live royal flushes? I think I think I made at least two royal flushes at live. Um I clearly remember one, two, and then like a one card uh royal flush. Oh did he, did Pikachu check behind the turn? What? That's surprising. Yeah. Why would you? I mean, they're so deep, he can even call a check raise on a turn. So, like, I'm, I'm actually really surprised about that. I think, I feel like you almost have to bet the turn. That's strange. I guess, yeah, I don't know. Wow. Check bat pot works. We've seen, we've, we've been correct into some of these calls, some of these lines, but they've all, there's yeah. also been some unorthodox checks and like some surprising moves. These players mix it up so well. Yeah. Like that that check back bluff river from Pikachu just got the job done in a big way. Yeah, I mean, I guess Pikachu, you know, checks back some some over pairs there on the turn, mm -hmm. um, and then and then you know plays it the same way. Uh, but still, I just felt like uh, maybe that was maybe that would have been a better play with like you know with just just a straight draw without the straight flush draw. But, but like having the straight flush draw, like is a is a hand that you know you're definitely going to see the river with those stack sizes. Exactly. Top two, Watson. Even. Even I'm enjoying same. a nice protein shake here, Eugene. I enjoy. Are you? What's? Are you? Are you in the fitness? Uh, are you working out? Are you lifting weights? I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're a healthy man, Pretty right? Often. Try to be. I mean, not the last month, but. <laughs> uh, but. Other than man, that, you've yeah. had. You've had some other things on your mind the last month. Yeah, exactly. 
I'm actually, I'm actually now like I've been, my, my uh, diet has been so unhealthy over the past month because of kind of what's happened um, that uh, I actually decided the last three days I'm, um, I'm, I'm going to do, I'm going to fast. So I'm actually literally in the middle of fasting. I'm now two and a half days into into my fast. Yeah. So I'm like, wow, Eugene, you're joining us. uh, You haven't eaten food for two days. six, Six, yeah, like 60 hours, I guess about 60 hours, no food. Wow. And you're smiling, you're maintaining a nice level of energy. It's very impressive. Yeah. I mean, I started doing that like a couple of years ago. I started doing like five day fasts, maybe like every three, four months. They're really wow. healthy. Um, and you feel, I mean, they're not easy, but like you learn a lot of things about your body. You learn that, you know, a lot of the hunger is actually in your mind, your body, you know, hunger comes in waves and then goes. Um, and then after like day two or so, like two and a half, uh, your body mechanism switches from switches into ketosis where it starts burning fat instead of carbs. Um, so it's interesting to, to notice different changes within yourself. Your mind works better. It's, uh, like you could wow. focus better. Yeah. It's pretty, I, I recommend it. I've done uh, 36 hours. You have, okay. Uh, but uh, I, five days of no food. Yeah. Try it. I, Honestly, like Try it, first, man. I don't it's know. The first, it's the first three days that are the, the hardest. Uh, it actually gets it actually does it, it gets a little bit easier um, afterwards. What's that uh, first but also bite like, of food like after you you haven't eaten for five days? Must be glorious. Yeah, um, yeah. Your imagination about food goes wild. Like even now, like when I think about food, it's like it's like I could taste like anything. Sounds like it's going to be yeah. like the best thing ever. Like even like a piece of cabbage is going to be like the best thing ever. <laughs> Um, but, but you have to be careful. Like if you, if you do do a long fast, you can't just like have a huge meal, right. As you get out, you yeah, have to yeah. actually be careful. So the, the way you get out of it is like, you, you know, have like, um, like a plain soup or, you know, something simple, like something, at least for the first couple of hours for your body to get acclimated again and, you know, to start processing food and then you can have, you know, a larger meal. But you I have heard to be really it's careful. very, very healthy to, to, to do those like once in a while. Yeah. Yeah, like extremely healthy. Like your body, you give it your body a chance to cleanse itself because it's not focused on processing food. So it literally yeah. just cleanses its cells, cleanses you know uh, from from so many things. There's been so much research done lately about uh, the health aspects of, of fasting. So um, you know, definitely recommend it. I might sign. I up saw for Patrick the Antonio has been like talking about it a lot as well in in, in on Instagram. Uh, Patrick Antonio, he's, well. he's been on High State yeah. Poker recently. The man looks yeah. healthy. I would take I would take advice from Patrick Antonius when it comes to health, fitness. Yeah, he's, a, he's a beast, health beast. Chop, Ooh, chop here. Going for thin, thin value. No, he, he wins. Oh wow! I I missed. I thought I, I King plays. <laughs> was a, yeah, the paired yeah, board. That was cool. a, yeah, you don't often see that with like the ace in there and the paired board. Yeah. This is nuts. Now, Michael Watson is your chip leader once again. Ooh, I think Pikachu squeezes here. Ukraine's got hope. 1.1 million. I think Pikachu found a squeeze spot. Yeah, this is a good one. But you might even see a flat, you know, you might even see a call again from Michael, you know, from Michael Watson with with this Mm -hmm. specific hand. Because he knows, you know, Pikachu's going to squeeze this spot, you know, quite wide. So, so even so, I feel like Queen Jack suited kind of plays pretty well. But he's out of position, so I wouldn't blame him for folding. But, um, and Michael Watson has just capped his range by flat in here as well. Yeah, exactly. That's the only other thing. I think specifically because of what you said, he's going to fold here because his hand is kind of like almost face up when, if he calls there, if he decides to call. Good squeeze bot by Pikachu. And considering what we saw, remember when we saw in the beginning of the stream when Michael folded tens in that Mm -hmm. spot. So like, I was going to say, I expect him to fold Queen Jack here as well. Because tens was kind of a similar spot there. You might see a three bet here. Yeah, yeah like three bet candidate. One, one point four, well, like one point four, you know, one point four two or whatever. Um, yeah. Eugene, I mean, for a man who hasn't played much cards lately, <laughs> uh, I've been very impressed. Very, very, very impressed. <laughs> Thanks. Man. Wow. Ooh. What a flop for Archer here. I mean, unlikely we're going to, you know, Pikachu's going to lose. I mean, he's certainly going to bet the flop, but, oh, he's not going to nope. bet the flop. Interesting. Check Actually, yeah, it makes sense, I guess. 
Um, Something like about these players check. as well. The average player is just going to bet King Queen on the flop, but the, the the good players do check back strong hands once in a while. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, no, no. Here specifically, I think check was the only play by Arthur because essentially Pikachu is representing a very narrow range of either super strong hands or super weak hands. So there's yeah. no reason to protect your hand against anything. Like if he's facing a slow play ace or kings, there's no reason to bet. You don't want to get check raised in the flop. You also want to, you know, kind of, you know, pot control and slow play and disguise your hand by checking king queen. So I definitely like like checking by king queen. Also because you're, blo- you know, it's only the ace that you're not going to like. The fact mm-hmm. that you have king queen and not queen jack. You know, even if a, like an overcard, like a king comes, you still obviously have a strong hand. So, uh, so you have less bad cards on the turn. So I, I think check is like for sure the right spot. Third play. Yeah, my my wife is a personal trainer and she's really into health and fitness, and it's it's something mm. that I have made more of a priority. I'm 29 now, and uh, I just remember my early 20s. I was ambitious and I wanted to do big things. But I, I never prioritized my health, and I just had no—I had no juice. I had no battery. Mm. Uh, you know, after five hours of playing poker, my brain would just be like completely fuzzy. I wasn't able to think anymore. I never worried about my sleep, my diet. These are things I just ignored. And then, you know, in my late twenties, I've really prioritized all that. Worked really hard, and it's completely like—I feel reinvigorated. I have way more energy focus cool. stamina intensity than i had in my early 20s so yeah, i just That's, uh i went through the same thing probably at your age is when i started to work out like i didn't work yeah. out you know in my early 20s or mid 20s and um and i was you know feeling like i you know i didn't have enough energy and you know i was eating poorly and then i started to work out and just like oh, made all the difference so i just didn't know my family me. my family wasn't like crazy unhealthy but nobody in my family my parents never worked out we just ate food that wasn't good for us like i just thought that's how everybody lived and then like as soon as i started developing the better habits i always talk about this on twitter and stuff i tweet about health and fitness and very often people are like shut up like stick with poker like we don't want to hear your health <laughs> and fitness. i just like i just want to share my little message sometimes that i think life from the first person's perspective is just i you know i'm just happier i just have more energy i can just do more things I, yeah I'm, I'm more i have more mental clarity because i've prioritized like those things it's big it's big for me so let's see if michael adjusts here like before he flat it like queen jack suited yeah. let's see if he decides to three bet this one here's he can't three fold, so yeah. Yeah. 1.1 million and this had being unsuited it's probably you know probably leans a little bit more towards three betting and because he's he doesn't you know need to see the flop you know as bad as he kind of maybe exactly. wanted to be queen, queen jack suited no snap fold here I think Arthur, I think it's you know reasonable to see a call here with you know with, with this type of hand. Just Max. Certainly, I think if he had like seven eight suited, I think he would have you know peeled. So six eight suited was probably close. Guys are passing around some pots here. All still very close here, three handed. Funny, last week, similar vibes. We had a bunch of crazy action, and then when they got three-handed, they were deep three-handed, and we played, wow, last week, or was it two weeks ago? We played three-handed for, like, almost two and a half hours. Wow. Uh, yeah, they just, they just nobody, you know, a lot it of might small be the pots. Same thing, might be the same thing here, I mean, unless we see coolers. It seems like, you know, uh, mm-hmm. everyone's trying to play good. Oh, both players connect right. here. He's five. Pretty big flop for Ace five offsuit. Could get interesting. Mr. Pikachu. I wonder if Mike Michael goes to check raise here. Yeah, it's really interesting. I could see both three, options. Three, three, th- yeah, three handed. Yeah, I think Michael tends to, you know, tends to take the more passive line. Um, whereas I feel like if this was Arthur, he might, you know, he might take the more aggressive line. At least that's my read for now. Mm -hmm. Um, Seems like a good read. Check, check. I think we can safely go for value. Pikachu's betting all their jacks over pairs on the four. The four isn't great for Michael. Um, I guess he, you know, I guess he still has like seven eights and six ten and eight ten. No, not eight ten. Seven eight, really. That's it, right? Is that the only Mm -hmm. bluff? 
I would block. Block to half pot. Yeah. Mr. Watson, nice value. Oh, wow. He paid it off. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Hope Pikachu checks back, planning to call River. Did so. Season yeah. bad news. Yeah. Okay, Michael Watson, eight million. Back in the lead. I love how every one of these three players have had multiple times going to the chip lead. Yeah. Mr. Watson. Jillian, Eugene, do you still play any WSB events in Vegas? When's the last World Series event you played, Eugene? I I was actually in Vegas. I came to Vegas like the last week of the series. I and I played two events. I played like one fifteen hundred and like I, I wasn't there for poker, but um I was nearby. I was like in Arizona and I was like, well, I, I should stop by and see everyone and maybe play like one or two events. So so I did yeah, I did, I did play a fifteen hundred and maybe like the eight 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 or something. I, I don't remember. Mm. But yeah. Ooh, I do massive. want to play, you know, once in a while. Ooh, interesting. Both these hands are huge. Boring. Boring turn card, though. Yeah, very chill turn. <laughs> like a jack would have been interesting. Yeah, not going to see any craziness on the 5-5 five, five run out. Yeah, and no reason for Arthur to bet the turn because he has the you know queen high. He actually has some showdown value. Even now he has you know a good amount of showdown value. So you might even see a call from him. Yeah, I could uh, hear with queen high. Yeah reasonable especially like yeah okay doesn't even think about it versus that size yeah because he was blocking both the flush draw and the straight draw with the queen so you know so he had both the hearts and the queen so makes sense oh i see jake is asking me if i if i drink coffee or water only i do drink coffee i drink um uh just black coffee like americano uh, coffee does help a lot when you're fasting. Like it, um, it you know, kind of subsides uh, the hunger. So calorie-free coffee is good. Coffee's so good, man. So yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Pikachu hits one of their only outs to take the lead here. That check call. I think we're betting this turn now with a seven. Yeah, I think you kind of have to, right? Like check back mm. the river, get some, val- get a lot of you know value from pair plus gut shots. Interesting spot for Michael Watson. Uncomfortable turn. You might even like. I would even. You can even go crazy here and like check raise turn. I mean, I, I've done like I maybe maybe the stack size is a little bit weird, but with the ten, you know, blocking. Blocking the straight, you know, ha- you know, um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe if Michael thought about it a little bit more, you can he can come up with a with a check raise on a turn. Ooh, couple big hands here. See yeah, Michael Watson three bet these hands from the small blind. I expect him to probably three bet this one again. Same reason why he three bet King Jack, but not Queen Jack suited. Yeah. Now Arthur. Probably just a call. Like probably there's no other option except call. I agree. Seems like a call hand. The battle of the ace highs. One a pip stronger than the others. Chat. Going through the fasting details. <laughs> yeah. Good luck in your fast, J Smith. Yeah. Enjoy. Okay, three bits pre half pot on this flop. Yeah, pretty big. I don't think I don't think Arthur can fold though. His his hand is like, you know, really up in his range. Yeah, I like his call. I don't think he, he's allowed to fold there. This is a massive five million chip pot here. Ace high versus ace high. For Mike Mal Watson, it's hard to bet this turn. Yeah. I guess it goes check, check. I don't think it makes much sense to bet. I mean, like a block bet. Yeah, I think it just goes check, check. Michael probably content to check this river as well. Yeah, I think this is going to go check, check. Yeah, Archer's never betting. Check, check. Ace Jack wins 5 million chips. Huge pot. That is really a defining moment in this tournament. 
Arter. All three of these players are just are, are very, very, very good crushers. Yeah. If I had to give the slight edge to somebody, I would pick Arter as the best of the three, but it's close. Yeah, and I expect them to probably, you know, really kick up the aggression level here, you know, having the chip lead. He also seems like the, probably the slightly more aggressive of the three, at least based off what I've seen thus far. Oh, for, for both, oh. yeah. Wow, what a turn card. Flush draw, payer, straight draw. We call this the buffet. He has a little bit of everything. So see, Michael bets small, but I feel like if it was Arthur, he might even like bet like 900 here into 680. Like that seems like a spot also, like you either take it down or if the opponent has a king, you can put it in some, in some really tough spots. I think the fact that Michael has a pair maybe made him, you know, bet small, you know, but small. The little deucey here. And here in the river, the for sure, as Michael, you you check, but you can actually go for a check raise here in the river, which is also like a, kind of like a <laughs> an exotic play. But having the deuce blocker, you know, the six blocker, um, this is a good spot to make it like um, like two point two million, um, because your opponent almost always has a king, and your 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 range is uncapped, uh, you know, when when you play it this way. So. Um, I. Uh, he could shoot bluffs. Very effective. Bluff? Yeah, interesting. But man, I don't know. This is crazy action. Three handed. Michael Watson has gone chip leader to third. Chip leader to third once again. Yeah. My goodness. But he does seem to be the most, pa- you know, the the most passive from mm. from the from the three. Not by much, but. Noticeable, but yeah, it's surprising he didn't even think about it. Well, maybe he did think about it. I don't know. I made a decision pretty quick. Eugene, you're doing great here. I'm just, I'm just gonna run to the washroom. I'll be right back. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. This is interesting. Arthur raised preflop and then check calls the flop. Pretty cool. That's a great turn card for Michael. Yep. It's going to take it down. He's I'd be clean. shocked if, <laughs> if he stuck around for this one. <laughs> That's such a good turn. That's such a bad turn card for Ace Queen. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be shocked. That's a great question for Paletto. I'm going to change it up a little bit. Who were a, a couple of poker players that you really looked up to during your career, admired? I mean, there were so many. But I mean, honestly, like uh, this is kind of cliche, but it was always like, you know, like Phil Ivey was always, you know, was always like the one. Like he just always impressed me so much with the way, just the way he played, the way he adapted, you know, every time, and the way he adapted, you know, especially like playing live with him. It's just incredible to 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 watch how. Um, how well he adapted to the players and 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 how he was able to um, play a, a, like a, a good exploitative style as well. Like it's really cool. So um, I think he's he's probably like number one for me. Like you know overall, you know obviously throughout you know th- then there were so many like you know, other great great players, but I think he just stands out the most. 
Great answer, Phil Ivy. Can't really go wrong. Ooh. Wow, slams wow. the 10-9 suited. That was a huge shove. That was very big. Lines are up. 80, 160. I think Michael Watson's going to slam this one pre-flop. That seems still kind of big. 30 blinds. I mean, the only, the only, the only reason I would like it, yeah, like the, re the only reason I would like it is because, like, it's really just you're facing all tough opponents. So, so you know, you might as well just take all these little small edges, and you, you don't need to look. You know, you're not gonna like really look to outplay anyone post flop. Mm -hmm. So, because of that, you know, you're probably okay to gamble slightly with you know slight pre flop edges. So, in that sense, oh, you might see him slam. Oh yeah, my god, three slams in a row. Archer with the eights. I, don't think we're race yeah, folding this not, one. I don't think he can fold. <laughs> wow. I don't think Archer I would fold. Slam, I think Michael Slam, and Pikachu. Yeah, three-handed. There it yeah. is. Wow. What a spot. Pikachu needs a three immediately. And all the it's not there. Covered. Two outs. Pot of the tournament. No. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> that was so close. <laughs> Small diamond card. A little bit of a sweat there. Pikachu. Bad timing with the threes, and they are eliminated. What a final table run from them. Quarter million dollars. And here we are. Heads up. Ooh, My look at this goodness. flop. Look at this flop. Archer, commanding chip lead now. Both players locked up 309,000. Just a casual yeah, 90K USD heads up match. Just the annual salary of... Uh, a comfortable American on the line here in the heads up. Ooh. What a great, great bet in the turn by Arthur. Unlucky river. But... Again, if Michael Watson wins, I am sending a thousand dollars to the Ukraine. Chip underdog right now, though. We're just checking the six, right? Showdown. Oh wow. Interesting. Well, he has Wait, a straight. He has a straight. I'm losing my mind. I, I, I was yeah, very yeah. confused there. I was very yeah. confused there. I was like, what is yeah. happening? Yeah. Uh, wait, wait, what? Okay, four, five, six, seven, eight, five in a row. He did have a straight confirmed. Thanks, Eugene. No problem. <laughs> a bad call for me. It's funny. I, I Eugene, when I was like in a young 20-year-old just on the poker scene, I had to, I got my first commentary gig at the Aussie Millions, and I was all excited, you know, young lad, ready to put in a good showing, and uh, I butchered the last hand of the tournament, the very last hand. So, like, of course, like the sh the entire show is like eight hours, but the last hand is the one that's clipped, shared on social media. The winner of the tournament, oh, I, to you I totally, that one. <laughs> totally butchered it. Yeah. The guy, the guy got it in stone dead with zero percent, and I couldn't. I thought he had two outs, so my friends are like, "It's over! It's all over!" I was like, "Guys, <laughs> no, he still no, no. has two outs," and they're like, "What are you talking about? He's dead!" They're, they're like, "You're such an idiot!" I just completely butchered the entire call. I can laugh at it now, but I was very embarrassed at the time being. Not gonna work. Heads up, baby. Pretty, pretty easy. Your call for Michael. Love me some heads up poker. Can Michael do it? Can Michael spin here? Getting closer. 80K, 160. How is your heads up game, Eugene? I have, I have quite a bit of experience playing heads up. I used to play a lot of like heads up cash uh, back in the day. So I, I, I enjoyed it a lot. Nice. Um, yeah. Heads up is always something you can work on. I feel yeah, like yeah. against Very the average person playing my games, game. I could do well heads up, but if anyone has put some serious time into heads up studies, they would have a significant edge over me. Just got to get in there with 95% of the range. You got to fight. Like this is very common heads up. Bet nine high, check call king high. You just got to get in hey, there. King high is like super strong on this board. Yeah. Check, check. Gives up. King is good. Guys, we're heads up. I see you all in the chat. Thank you for chilling with us. If you can do us a favor, 
Smash the thumbs up button. Takes two seconds. Do it now. Now, 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 now. Thank you. I know a lot of you just did it. We appreciate it. Ooh, that is an interesting card. A diamond on the river. Wow. Ace high, king high, diamonds, both in play. Diamond would be painful. All right. Interesting that he checked back, the check back the turn. Whew. Michael Watson avoided disaster there, potentially. Super Millions title. I wonder, I, I want to get some of these guys, I want to interview some of these guys as well. Some of these regulars who like Arter is just final tables this tournament all the time. I want to ask him, like, do, 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 is your heart racing during these things or are you just steady, Eddie? Are you just, a, <laughs> uh, just, I would be pooping my pants. <laughs> Heads up match here. Jack High bluffing. Winner. Seen a lot of successful bluffs at this final table, getting better hands to fold, especially on turns and rivers. Two to one advantage. Oh. Ooh. Two pretty ones here. And, one, and I feel like Michael might even take a flop. I think he's gonna most likely take a flop with this one too. You know, after the, after the three, but I don't think you can fold this hand pre-flop heads up. It's a big three bet size, but I'm, I agree with you, Gene. It's too good. All right. Thankfully for Michael, he whiffs. Yeah. Complete whiff. Yeah. Nine high board, seven high board would have been disastrous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he showed it. I think he showed it, right? He showed the kings. Mm, two big ones here as well. I think here's just a call with a six with 30 bigs. I mean, I don't know if he's going to turn this into a bluff. Oh, okay. I guess we can do that. Yeah, I think Michael is realizing that um, he's not going to have much edge playing post flop versus Arthur. So it's fine to, you know, to tick up the volatility and, you know, to just take kind of close spots pre flop. You know, I think I think I would probably do the same thing. Like if I see I'm playing a really tough opponent heads up, you know, I would just try to play big pots instead of small pots. Wow, Arter's hand here is majorly majorly underrepped. Ah, Michael yeah. Watson. Thought maybe they would fire checks, away. Checks back ten high. Well, I mean, it kind of makes sense. Ten high actually has some showdown value. DeFi says, Arter plays 200K in buy-ins every Sunday. Wow. That is a lot of buy-ins. <laughs> 200 grains. Yes, it is. A lot. So far, everything's going Arthur's way. He's going to win this pot as well. The edge is continuing to grow. You got to think the 910 of Diamonds is going to find victory here. Both players guaranteed three hundred and nine thousand dollars. Playing so fast too. Gotta to appreciate that. Michael Michael goes into limping at thirty blinds. Mm. Ooh. Spicy. The nuts for Michael Watson. He's found some checks with nutted hands. Here he goes small. Yeah, I think if you have like a ton of hearts, you know, maybe you can you can check. Does get called by a hand that is drawing dead. What size do we go here? Half pot? 
750,000. Bigger, 1.1. Yeah. 1. yeah, I like I like bigger. I think because if you're going to bluff, you're probably going to bluff for a bigger size. So Back and forth we go. Battle of the offsuit ace X's here. These two started the final table. Chip leading and second, I believe. Yes. And here they are, That's one true. and two. Yeah. 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 Michael true. Michael was chip leading. Arder was in second. Oh, that is a Ooh. fun river. They were on their way to chopping. Check, check. Yeah. Unlucky for Michael, though. Bad beat emoji. Huh? Three to one deficit. Yeah, you can see Michael Watson using the limp strategy now. Yeah, it's, I like it. I think it's. I think it's still a little bit early for it. I mean, I know I. I would start limping. You know. Once I get below like 25 blinds, maybe around 20 blinds, I start limping mm -hmm. a lot. But here, yeah, it's surprising because here, you know, as I said before, I, I would have thought he, he would want to play a more volatile style versus a tough opponent like Arthur. So, you know, you, you can still kind of raise and, you know, take flops with, you know, with a lot of hands at 30 big blinds. But, and we seem taking still kind of like a passive line, kind of like, you know, seeing more flops. Lines are going to go up in two hands to 100K, 200K. Ooh, three bit bluff. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, it's a through. pretty strong hand. Yeah, I thought maybe King Nine would peel, but it hits the mark. Yeah, I mean, he, he hasn't three bet all that much heads up. So good to do that, you know, when you don't have a hand as the first couple of times. Michael Watson trying to rally your heads up. The Danis Sausage, our full-time mod here at the GG YouTube channel. Thanks to you for joining us as always. Thank all you guys for joining us. We'll be back here next Tuesday. Every Tuesday, watching this unbelievable online final table. And now he check now he raises. This is kind of mixing it up. Mm -hmm. Interesting flop again. Very interesting. Open end for the Jack Four. And Arthur with a disguised hand. Oh wow. Michael has not really been bluffing these hands on the turn. Let's see what he does here though. Yeah, I don't know either. I mean, is he going to try to apply a lot of pressure with, to like 3x or 5x? This 8 is such a blank for, for him. Yeah, wow. I, can't, I can't blame him. What do you do here? I think this that looks so strong. All of yeah. it. And with that, Ardor can taste the victory. Substantial chip lead here. Yeah, now you're going to see a lot of limping. You know, 14 blinds effective. Here's the shove. Michael Watson. It's not done yet, though. 15 bigs effective. When's the when's the last year you won a poker tournament, Eugene? <laughs> uh, I don't remember exactly. I mean, I won a live one. Like, I won, like, a, a side 2K event. Not too long ago, like right towards when I was finishing up poker, maybe four or five years ago. Um, Twenty seventeen. Or where was that? Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard to win tournaments. It is. It's fun, really. It's, it's, very, like, it's very fun when it happens. It's the addictive. best. Addictive. It's great. Value bet here. Does Arter call for the chop? No, not with the three seven. Hmm. 16 bigs for Michael Watson. Ooh.
deck has definitely slightly favored Argor here. Heads up. This is cool. Just a min check raise, essentially. Yeah, I was thinking like which queen X's I would check raise and which queen X's I would check call. I feel like this hand might even check call better. Oh, look wow. At Six high yeah. floats. Makes a pair wow. of twos. Unfortunate for him. Great, great play by Arthur. Because he's been so active, so aggressive that he knows Michael's going to get sticky, you know, and float him on spots where he's just not going to believe him. So, um, really a masterful play here at the Queen Ten to, to get the yeah. max out of out of a hand that's stone dead. Here, I don't even know how you get the most. Yeah, I think you have to go for the double check raise. You can, the double, double check raise, massively strong. This, you, you just like it's so hard to see this being used as a bluff, like. Because if even if even if you oh, oh my god, my god. Oh what a oh my god is that a real life run out deuce deuce? Is there any chance you can get away from this? It, this if if when Arthur bets this river, it's so strong. Oh my god, he checked it. Wow, what wow. a line from the queen ten here. Can now if you're Michael, you're thinking you're here. yeah. Can he ever check here? I don't think. I think he just has to go for. It. I think he has to bet. I don't think you can. Wow, what a great play by Arthur. The triple check the raise. Triple check we raise. Draw. That's the triple, the triple check, check raise. That is the so unicorn rare. of all poker lines. The unicorn of unicorns. Wow. I have to I have to give that up. That's even though Michael to didn't end, win, that's a beautiful way to end it. GG is, to win the, the super triple millions check on the raise. triple check raise. Unbelievable last wow. hand there. And there's your champion. Unbelievable. Good game to Michael Watson, 309K. What a great showing. But I am stunned by that final line. You, the, the triple check raise is the holy grail of poker yeah. lines. Yeah. It doesn't get more epic than that. Unbelievable. GG Arter. What a stylish wow. win, Eugene. It's unbelievable that we just saw that happen. So well-deserved. Like, that was really cool. Even though Michael didn't win, like, congratulations to Arthur. That was really, really cool. So Yeah, that was very, very nice to, to, to observe that, you know, lots of high-level play. So that's great. Eugene, uh, Michael Watson, your horse, doesn't win. So the 1K doesn't come through. But I'll donate $500 for the second place Sweet. finish. Sweet. Thank you, Yeah, Kevin. exactly. Yeah. Uh, I'll, send you you, to... I'll send you the link to, to, the, to the charity if you don't mind. But, send me the link to help the people of Ukraine. Thank you. I, I can't. I'm, I'm speechless that we saw the, the triple check raise come in there. You know, I have been looking to do that in my own poker games for years, and I've never found a spot yeah. to do it. But Arger found it there. That was just so sad. I don't know if I've ever done it either. I, I, maybe, but it's, it is like you said, it's the unicorn of poker. It's so rare. <laughs> very cool. Very cool way. Very, very fun. Eugene, thank you so much for coming on today's show. It's great to talk to you. I wish you well, you know, with everything going on. Um, you'll have to keep us updated. Guys, please follow Eugene on Twitter. I'm going to drop your link in the chat so people can follow you on Twitter as well. Um, yeah, you. what a final table. Any final words, final thoughts? No, this has just been, it's really been fun, Kevin. Thank you. It's uh, this, this, I don't know, it's been two and a half hours. It completely flew by. It was a fun final table, fun chatting with you. And thanks to everyone in chat for asking, you know, cool questions and following us along. So this yeah. was great. Everybody, thank you so much in the chat. I love seeing you guys every Tuesday. Come back next Tuesday. We're going to get another awesome guest. Not sure who it's going to be, but we'll get a good one. Uh, these guests have definitely not disappointed. Very nice, Eugene. If you're ever in the World Series when I am or something, send a message. Grab a coffee or something. Yeah, absolutely. Love to. Good luck with everything going on. I hope you stay safe. I hope your friends and families are safe. I hope everything is good. Hearts out to the Ukraine, of course. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for joining us thank today. You. It's really special, guys. Follow Eugene on Twitter. I dropped his link in the chat. And yes, GG. I wish you guys all a wonderful week. Have a great week. Good luck playing on the GG Poker Streets. I know a lot of you guys are firing the tournaments. We wish you all well. Thank you for joining me. Before you go, please drop a thumbs up. Just give us a like. It takes two seconds. I would appreciate that. My name is Kevin Martin. That is Eugene Kachaloff. And we'll see you next Tuesday. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.